Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Pool Dog Arena in Las Vegas for continuing coverage of this year's APA World Pool Championships. I'm your host, Jason Bowman, and I'm joined by the Hall of Fame legend, the striking Viking, Ava Lawrence. Ava, we have our second championship to be decided here at this year's event. It's the granddaddy of them all, the main event, the World 8-Ball Championship with a whopping $30,000 First place prize up for grabs. $30,000. Well, it's going home to one of these two teams, and I bet we're in for a treat. Both of these teams are real fighters. I was watching the semifinal matches, the end of them, and both matches went into sudden death in the fifth match, and boy, was it close. Absolutely. Now, before we meet our finalists in the 8-Ball World Championship, let's give you a quick breakdown of some of the key rules here. Of course, APA rules will apply here in this match. The 8-Ball World Championship teams consist of both male and female players, with a maximum of eight players allowed on a roster. Each team will choose up to five players to compete here in this championship match. The combined handicap of those five players cannot exceed a total of 23. Players may receive one coaching timeout per game, and matches are going to be played according to the three-point scoring system. Now, the, the three-point scoring system works as follows. A shutout earns the winner of a match a 3-0 split. If the losing player makes it to the hill, it's a 2-1 split. And if the losing player wins at least one game, but does not make it to the hill, it's going to be a 2-0 split. So you got all that, Ava? I got it all. All right, that's a lot. I know, folks. <laughs> we'll, we'll cover it as we go today. Now, let's meet our championship finalists. First, we have from Louisville, Kentucky, the team of the Bank Shots. And from Winter Park, Florida, we have the Party Animals. And again, they're going to be competing for $30,000 this afternoon. So I think the players are just about ready to go and get started. So let's take you down into the arena for the start of the APA World 8-Ball Championship. And right off the bat, Ava, we're going to see the team captain of the party animals. Again, they're out of Winter Park, Florida. This is Greg Woodall with the break. Mm, pretty solid break. Made the six ball on the break there. And it's interesting because the opposite team, Bank Shots, actually won the coin toss and put up first. And they put up their um, player, Nick Wimsett. And he's a skill level four. And uh, Party Animals and an uh, answer, like you said, with Greg Woodall, skill level six. So they're coming out firing. So we've got a 5-3 race, right? That's it. 5-3 race. Nick will need three to Greg's five. And he is currently at the table. Buckle up, folks. It's going to be quite the show this afternoon here at Pool Dog Arena. This table to open up beautifully. Great opportunity here without any unforced errors. Greg should be able to. Well, there's, there's that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you were about to call it an yeah. unforced error, it drops yeah, in yeah, the pocket yeah. there. Everything looks pretty open. Key is to get on that five ball. That's right up here by the side pocket. Whoops. There we go. Change that. Oh, wow. Misses the one in the corner there. So we'll get our first look now at Nick Wimsat, skill level four. That was one of those misses, Jason, where you're just kind of more worried about the five ball and getting perfect on the three, though you forgot to make the ball. You know, you just kind of get up and your brain is thinking about the next shot as opposed to really focusing. Decide what you want to do, get down, and then just really make sure you make the ball. Not much to look at here. You figure when you player misses a shot like that, he's going to have some kind of a shot to start out with. I think he can make it. You know, he's queuing to make this 10 ball. Kind of a tough one to start with, but no problem there. Just had to pocket it, and he knew he was going to get a shot on either the 9 or the 13. I would think he's going to shoot the 9 ball up here in this corner pocket. Eight ball world championship started with 730 teams down to the final two. Is that the most we've ever had other than 2021 when we covered two years worth? That sounds That's a good question and not one I can answer with 100% confidence. I'm just going to put a whole bunch of questions <clears throat> to you today, yeah. so tomorrow you'll be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> But that, uh, I think that is, I mean, it sure it's looks not, it in the hallways. Closed, There's yeah. a lot of people here, boy. Yeah, over 15,000 registered attendees, and that doesn't include those that just come out to play in Mini Mania right. or 
friends that come with, you know, significant others. People, and- yeah, significant others. So yeah, it's a full house, a packed house here at the at the Westgate this week. And it's a good time to be inside this <laughs> yeah. in Las Vegas this week. Holy smokes, it's hot outside. Yeah, I did make it to the pool briefly yesterday. Did you? The, well, the Jack and Jill doubles match went relatively quickly. Yeah. Made my way out there. and It wasn't a great match as far as a great battle, but it sure was an exciting match. Yeah. There was a lot happening there that... Okay. It brings Greg back to the table. And like we said before, things are laying awfully pretty. He can go ahead and make this one ball come up table for the three. And then leave that ball in the side pocket. That can always be a guard ball as long as he comes up towards center table. There you go. Absolutely perfect. Party animals have been playing together for two years. Down there in central Florida. Phil Vaughn commenting on the, uh, the tables are gorgeous, he said, and I have to agree. They're gorgeous and they're playing great. Here's so many comments about these tables playing well and so far I do believe Greg Woodall agrees running the rest of that table it was laying pretty and he did what he had to do well we've got a moment here in between racks we're going to hear a quick word from our friends at pooldog.com Back here at Pool Dog Arena. Greg Woodall with the second break of the match here, now leading 1 0 and what is a race to five for him. His opponent needs three racks. Oh, that eight ball was close. It just hit the point in the side pocket, but he did manage to make a ball here. So we're going to see if. Uh, did he get a shot? Let me see. Do believe he's got the stripes? I don't think he made a solid. Let me see if he has the stripes. The 10 ball is right there. Just kind of start making a plan here. Oh, he's going to go with the 11 ball. Nice shot. All right, he's going to go ahead here and get rid of that cluster of balls. Try to get perfect on this 10 ball where he can hold it for the 9. Just kill the cue ball a little bit. He came up a little bit short. You can tell from his expression there. His angle was just a little bit too sharp. I cheated the pocket just enough. Feeling is going to go ahead and play this 13 in the side pocket, just looking at the right angle, correct angle, Let's, to get up for the, uh, it's actually the 11 to get up for the 13. I see a timeout here now. 
Each player gets one timeout per rack. Timeout per rack. So this is George Saunders, your level seven of the party animals, talking things over with Greg. And while we do that, we will tell you that the party animals wanted to give a shout out to all their family and friends and their APA family back home at their home bar of Qforia. And of course, their amazing league operators, Michelle and James Harper. You know, I saw Michelle here watching her team. Always nice when their league operator can be here. I know you've watched several of your teams here this week, Ava. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they appreciate that support. All right, so it looked like the discussion there was, I think Greg was looking to, he wanted to shoot the 11 ball into the side and then get on the, no, no, this is no good. So what happens, you got to take that extra second and go over and really decide where you want to be for the next shot. Not kind of where you be, but exactly. So the margin of error gets bigger, the bigger space that you kind of go, well, sort of kind of over there. The more precise you are, that margin of error gets smaller. So that was a, a big mistake that can end up costing your long term. See if you can kick it in. Oh, These tables play long it. right now because that yeah. cloth is not as worn as it is in the main tournament room that has had so much play on it. So they're going to have to remember to adjust for that a little bit. Right, table big slides. opportunity now for Nick. Ball in hand. Wide open table. See if he can get something going here. This captain's going to go ahead and call a timeout now. Looks like, yeah. No time like the present, I suppose. Well, that a lot of times, too, when you get ball table. in hand, when yeah. everything is open like this, and especially being a skill level four, to get the input from your coach to where do I start to make it this the easiest run out that, mm -hmm. makes me, that makes me have to move the cue ball the least. So it's always a good thing to have your coach come over, give a suggestion. This is where we start. Then you want to play for this ball, and then you can kind of go from there. You Normally, you want to take care of any... Balls that are tied up, which we don't have here, and you want to look for balls on the rail. And getting to that two ball pretty quickly is something I definitely would recommend. And he kind of uh, got in a funky spot already, didn't he? I don't think, he, uh, yeah, he sure did. Wow, didn't roll, the, hmm. I'm going to have to play defense here and just roll it up, I think. Yeah. The ball does not drop for Greg. Hangs up in that top pocket. The beauty is it, it did hang <laughs> up, so now the pressure is on here. One mistake now by Nick, and uh, I have a feeling Greg's going to be able to uh, end it. So he's got an open shot on the seven. The best thing he can do here is stun the cue ball, just stun it with a little bit of center and come out here. You can shoot the five ball, come out for... I mean, the four ball, you can come out for the seven. Oh, boy. Yeah, he jumped up on that shot. Just did not stay down with it. Make up your mind, shoot it. Stay down till the ball stops rolling. And you can see Nick just kind of jumped out of the shot before it was finished, before the stroke was finished. He's going to be good there, and it looks like he's going to tie this up in the sense that it's going to, both teams are going to need three. Again, it's a 5-3 race. Greg's a skill level six. 
Eight ball drops, and he takes a 2-0 lead. And as Ava said, needs just three more games, so we are now deadlocked, both players needing three. Ava, I was looking at the jerseys for these the, these party animals, and it's, it looks like they each have a different <laughs> animal. I can see he's got like a oh, you know, I didn't horned sheep, that. and then I see the <laughs> captain has a dolphin, and I can't tell the other ones yet, but. I'm sure we'll see stuff. more. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's party funny. Animals. I love it. Oh, there's fun, so many fun, creative fun. team shirts out here. That's a t that's one of the toughest things to win out here, Jason. Is the team sh uh, the uh, team T-shirt or the team shirt contest? <laughs> this team, the... this uh, if I'm reading this right, they've played three sudden death matches. The party animals they've had to win three sudden death matches. Used to the pressure. Dry break there though. Yeah, if you can see I have a cluster. This one is gonna take, I think, a little bit more doing than the last track where the balls opened up so nicely. We're gonna see here a choice. I'm gonna go ahead and grab something here, which is gonna be the four ball. Only shot he's got. It's tough to know that a skill level four, you know, Jason, that's the skill level where you're not quite sure. Some fours are able to control the cue ball a little bit more than others. Other fours are fours because they play so smart, play great defense, um, and they, that strength may bring them from a three to a four or make them a strong four as opposed to a, a beginner four, a newer four. So in a perfect world there, you would have, you know, kind of gotten the cue ball out a little bit, but he just rolled it up, got perfect on this five. Nick has played six matches thus far here at the APA World Championships. This would be his seventh match. I just missed that. And just a reminder for those of you who have not played in the pool dog arena under the lights with several hundred thousand people eventually watching this match today and in the future and mm -hmm. people have been watching you know for years afterwards learning the ones that are coming out here the pressure is it is a pressure cooker for sure so nerves are going to be a part of this especially in the early part of the matches until you kind of get into it and forget the cameras are there <clears throat> but yeah the pressure in it it's a full house here watching. So the whole time you play yeah. for your team, which is pressure <clears throat> enough in the main tournament room, but now you're adding all these people in the room. We got, you know, what, hundred a couple of hundred people in here now watching and the stream. So yeah, the and the trophy oh yeah, the trophy and the money. I forgot the <laughs> I forgot the trophy and the Some thirty thousand things, yeah. 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 Thirty thousand to the winner of this match. I've always been impressed, by the way. Anyway, um, Jason, the pressure you feel as a professional or if you're playing in a singles tournament can be heavy. But you're playing for your team. So you do, not only do you not want to lose, you don't want to let your team down. Right. And so a lot of times I see people miss and make an unforced error and they feel <coughs> guilty. They feel guilty like they're letting the whole team down and from there their, their ability kind of goes straight down and letting that bother you. Just gotta shake it off like normal. But yeah, I'm impressed how some of these players handle the pressure playing team. All right, that was 
not a horrible move. That's one of those where he didn't really have much to shoot at, so he's kind of counting on getting back on the table and that Nick is not going to run these the rest of these balls. Opened up the, shot, the, the table for himself a little bit there at the same time. I agree with you, Carolyn. If you're not proud of making it this far with, what did you say it was this year? Seven hundred and thirty, I think you said. Yeah, yeah. The last two standing. Seven hundred and thirty teams. The last bet. two, both of which played nail biters in the semifinals, sudden death matches. Two ball or one ball does not fall. You know, it's still some work. To to do here though again Greg is a skill level six and he hasn't shown too many nerves so far but he does have some, an issue to deal with a little bit there obviously with the two ball block in the pocket for these two He's looking at the combination possibly could also tap into him now if he shoots a 13 ball or the nine you draw this, just put a little bit of right spin is all you have to do. That's going to help the nine ball in a little bit. And it's going to bring the cue ball up towards those balls. All right, get that too thin. Our nine ball world championships kicked off today or kicking off today mm -hmm. here on Tuesday. Whole nother wave of players coming in for that. We still have the uh, ladies. The ladies playing, playing yeah. right now. We'll yeah, have their championship match tomorrow. I believe that's one p.m. Pacific time, and then Masters is already underway. Sure. Team captains. I don't think they've started just yet, but we'll have their championship match on Friday. I think they start tomorrow. I believe. And then uh, finish it off with the nine ball world championships on Saturday. So. Busy several days ahead. Lots of pool playing action for us to bring you folks, courtesy of our friends at PoolDog.com. Oh, that worked. Right between them. Give him a shot on this seven. And it is just probably the best shot so far that Nick has to get on the scoreboard. This would be big if he could. He's looking to see to make sure that six ball goes. If he can make this seven, he should be in good shape because even if he doesn't get perfect on the six, he does have that one, but he would love to shoot seven, six, one, eight here. Just make sure to get off the rail a little bit without losing the angle. All right, here's the pressure shot. Still have to pay attention. If you roll this in, be careful of the 13. Don't be afraid to hit this a little bit. This ball kind of is large right there and easy to get behind if you're just focusing on the six on rolling it in too soft. Oh boy. No, didn't kind of rushed his backstroke there a little bit. If you are just now joining us, match popping up in your news feed or on your YouTube channel. You're watching coverage of the APA World 8-Ball Championship here in Pool Dog Arena, Las Vegas. This is Greg Woodall at the table. And that is definitely not what Greg wanted to do there, Jason. Doesn't even bank him have a bank shot in the uh, corner pocket, so I guess he's going to try to make both here. Just clears that one ball out of the pocket. <clears throat> As you can see where the six ball is, you try to make that six, you're going in the drink. So that's not going to, that's not doable from where he's at, no matter what kind of spin or anything he puts on it. It is a, I do believe it's a dead scratch, so he may have to try to bank it. Roll it up, trying to play a defense. 
clip the left side of the six and roll the cue ball down towards the end rail. You see on the overhead here, if you can just hit the six ball into the cushion over here, drift the cue ball down in this area, and then the best he's going to do is... We're going to go ahead and take the time Greg. out. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting. And they will go ahead and use it. Troy Fessel here of Bank Shots going to talk things over with Nick. While they do that, I want to make sure I mention our sponsors. Of course, we've talked a lot about our friends at Cool Dog, Diamond Tables, Aramith Billiard Balls, Action Cues. Support very important to us here. Pulling off this world's largest pool tournament. Discussion is over. We'll see what they came up with here. Nothing is obviously a great option. All right, that's the shot. Speed was a little bit firm. You would he would have loved to left him on the rail, but other than that, that's that. That's a good shot. That's a good choice. It's about the only one that I could see that he had. Now he can play a defense. Yeah, he's going to hide him behind the six ball. Always tough when you when you get to the point where you only have one ball and your opponent has several, because now all of a sudden. They obviously have control. They can toy with you for a while until everything is where they want it and then run the table if they are with that ability. Nick and the Bank Shots team out of Louisville, Kentucky. Been playing together for a year. They wanted to make sure we said hello to their family and friends back home and their APA league back at Rail Yards. Let's see if he can at least hit this. Can he make it? No. Oh, yes. Get to a rail, he does. But boy, does it look <clears> pretty. <throat> key, key shot, obviously, here is to... You would love to get out kind of towards the center of the table a little bit. Give yourself an angle. On this 10, we'll see it here in a second. Just come out a little bit so he's got an angle on the 10. Hmm. That was, I was thinking the opposite angle to be able to draw it down. He's going to go straight. Oh, off the stage, <laughs> Paul. High relief there. Yeah, and also he's not crazy about it because... At least the cue ball's off the rail a little bit so he can come back here for the eight. I'm just going to have to do a little bit of a tester. He can do this. Here comes his spirit animal pocket marker. Can't even figure it out if that's a goat, sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Where? They've got the horned sheep out here. Somebody oh, it's online said it's a goat. It's got to be a goat. goat? No. Eight in the corner. Nice shot. Greg Woodall opens up a 3 nothing lead, needing just two games. And so far, it looks three. like their strategy, their plan, is kind of working out here for party animals. So they were hoping to, you know, when, when Bank Shots decided to put up a four, and they chose, they won the put up, they put up their four, and then party animals answers with a six, hoping that they can take two or three points right off the bat. That does not, sometimes that definitely backfires. Both of these players have played quite a few matches. Nick has played six times, and Greg has played um, eight matches so far in this tournament. And both teams have used all their players out here, which if it's at all possible, I always recommend. Listen, if, if you have eight players on the team, let everybody play. 
you know, put up the people that you might not think are the strongest while you're still in the double elimination format part of the, the tournament. But uh, unless there, unless they, that person says, hey, I don't care if I play, I'm in Vegas, I don't really care. But some people, I mean, most people feel like at least I want to play once while I'm out in Las Vegas. Robin Stout says it's the screaming goat. Screaming goat? That's All what right, she said. All right. We'll go with the screaming goat. It's kind of what it looked like, too. It's better than the fainting goat. Nice shot. And look how that opened up everything. Nice little position shot. Ooh. No, no, that's not what he wanted to do. He wanted to come back right about here and have shoot that one ball in the corner. And he hit it kind of quickly. That would have that would have made it. He could have stopped shot a stop shot on the one. He would have been in great shape. He's all the way out for the seven. Now he can still do that. But he he uh, had a perfect pattern right before that. Mm-hmm. Two balls available, but he's jacked up over the eight, so a bit of a tester. He's shooting the one? He is. Well, Nick needs to make something happen here, Ava. He sure does. Getting kind of deep into this match now. And of it course, with the three-point system, got to get a game in here mm -hmm. at some point. Got to get a rack. And I do see that a lot. A lot of teams, a lot of the uh, captains that I talk to, at least back in the Carolinas, they try to get that 3-0. So whatever they got to do, however they got to put up to put some pressure on the other team. Mm -hmm. The only difference is then in the going forward, obviously it's going to affect what numbers you can play after that compared to what the, the other team will have. So I see it fail as often as I see it work actually where you put up all the strength right off the bat and then all of a sudden you get to the last Four or fifth, fourth and fifth match, and, and uh, they had the, the advantage and kind of come back. And then the emotional advantage changes from one team to the other also towards the end. So we'll see if it works this time. It's not over yet, though. Another time out here for the party animals. Talk things over a little bit. I'm going to answer James Markham here in a second. Um, bank shot, they won the uh, flip, and they put up first. Yeah. They put up their four. And Party Animals answered with Gregory Woodall, who's a skill level six. Yeah, and just kind of looking over their roster, they have four skill level fours, one five, two sixes, and a seven, which means... Seven can't play. Mm, right. One of the sixes can play. So. All right. Yeah. Let's see here. All right. Let's see if they can get rid of that. They have the timeout timer still on the table. There you go. See if you can tap this. Good shot. Good shot. Good thinking. <clears throat> Smart play. Watch out. Oh, it just sat there. 
Somebody had asked about table size. Yeah, all the tables here at the APA World Championships are seven foot tables. Can you imagine if we had nine foot, we'd need uh, three casinos. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> and I don't know anybody that owns 359 foot tables. It would be mm. very difficult, the logistics of that. No question. Of course, most leagues are played on seven foot tables, so it also makes sense. Oh. Well, he's blocked that pocket again. Yeah, but a great opportunity all. All Greg really needs to do here is just he, he could just tap this. And make this opponent's ball and leave that shot right there. Or is he going for a bank? Does he have it? No, he's just going to do that. Clears his ball again. Yeah. He plays a little safety on him. <clears throat> Yeah, an awful lot of diamond tables. An incredible amount of diamond tables have come into the markets in the in the APA around the country, Canada. But it's still the majority is still nice. their value tables. So I think the APA combined with diamond, they had worked this out, have come up with a fantastic answer. It is you know that not the pro cut. Nor should it be because this is, you know, right. to kind of middle middle the two sides. Mm -hmm. And the tables have been playing great and getting a lot of comments, especially the players when we were out here in May, the first time they were rolled out for the singles championship. But also here, they're playing really well. Nick doing a nice job here mm -hmm. in this rack at pocketing some balls. And I do see this a lot from amateur players standing there for a long time. I would recommend move around the table a little bit. It's funny how it looks different yeah. from different angles. And all of a sudden you can, if it looks like a mystery, mm -hmm. walk around a little bit and, oh, he make nice try. And the table can look incredibly different from different angles. That's why a lot of time you can sit in the audience and you go, well, he's, he or she should do this. But when you're standing still in one place from a different angle, you may not see the layout the same way. So move. Plus, it's more like an athlete. You get your heart pumping instead of getting into almost a coma, just staring down the table. And it makes you more nervous and more tight. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of any sport where you want to remain really still, right? No. I mean, maybe golf. I don't know. but yeah. And it's most sports you want to be moving your feet at least a little bit right. prepared to move prepared to but when you see them adjust. come up on the green they don't just stand there and stare down <laughs> right. the putt right. they're walking back right. and forth back and Look forth at this shot. Nice. nice shot nice it. didn't quite get over far enough we'll see if, if he, he taps again. this can he can he make it or is the ball yeah he went for it he went for it Ooh. I don't even know if that was makeable. He didn't take the time to he go over and check it out. Time. No, he doesn't. I kind of like that. Love it when they move quick. But it's like you said, you and I both watched some of the semifinals, and the party animals did have an awful lot of fun while they were playing. It was loud over yeah, the Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, for both the matches, it was intense over there. But again, the pressure of being here now is, it's like all of a sudden it became real. It goes up and level, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Because even it, even though it's in the same room, it is not, you know, it still has the, a, the APA pool lights over there. Mm -hmm. and, and there's nobody else watching. If yeah. you make a mistake, nobody ever we remembers it. we got two matches it. going yeah, on at the same exactly. time. It's all front and center here. Nick just can't pocket that ball. But, but check this out. But. Just left a kick there. shot here. Yeah. Let's see if he goes to bo bottom cushion. I 
And we'll see if he'll try to tap this and kind of leave it there. If he's going to fire it, he fired. And, oh, is he going to get lucky? Is Turn he going to get lucky? Yeah, he sure did. Turnabout's fair play uh, there. Exactly. Huh? Thirty thousand on the line here. What the runner up is it fifteen that we take they take home fifteen for a second? I know I know that somebody from the American Pool Players Association are gonna, are gonna tell us here in a second <laughs> on the t on the thing. I'm pretty sure it's fifteen. <laughs> Time out here for the bank shots. Interesting too. It's a different uh Different coach this time at the table. Talking but, things over with Nick. Speaking of that, we should have we should have a, a kind of a screen of payout, shouldn't we? I was looking in the event program and I see it for the showdown series events, but I do not see it for the world championship event. I'm sure someone will weigh in shortly. I feel like any time we have questions, we ask, and the questions are answered, right? I know. We've gotten a little spoiled doesn't mean like the that, answers are we? always right, no. but we get answers. <laughs> I don't know if they're right, but they're answers. All right, let me see if we can do this without scratching here. Real soft, real soft. All right, at least left... A tester, not an easy shot here on the two in the side. Oh, I was right, 15. I knew we were going to get an answer. Thank you. Nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh pocket. Oh, he's okay. Here comes the goat. And this would put Greg on the hill. On the hill which will guarantee him a point for party animals. Yeah, at this point, though, he's eyeing up that 3 -0. You bet. Eight you ball on the bet. side falls, and he leads 4 nothing. One game away from victory in this first match, and if he gets it here, Ava, that's a 3-0 split. That's a, that's a heck of a way to get started. Yeah. The shutout, but... Obviously, 8 is the magic number. Team gets to eight and it's over. Uh, three zero means they need five more. Now, if it gets to seven seven, and it's a tie at the end of the five matches, then it goes to which team won three out of the uh, five matches. Good There's look no there, at Pool Dog Arena. I was looking at the screen there. What a beautiful arena this year. Yeah, it's really great. Full I love house. the red too. It yeah, the super. red. I wasn't sure when I saw the mock-ups of the red, but it does look good. Oof. There goes the nine. I believe that's the only one that went in. And now we're going to see if Greg can be patient enough, play smart. Because it's a big deal if he can get 3 0 here instead. All Nick needs is one game. And that would make it a 2-0 win, even if Greg wins. And that could really turn out to play a big deal later on in the match. I wonder if that 3-1 combo goes in the side pocket. It looks like it does. The cue ball will drift down, so he has a chance at the 6-4 uh, or 6-5 or 2-5 combo after that if he does make it. This is not the prettiest layout we've seen of the tables here thus far. It's kind of... No, but if he does make this, everything's going to open up. Watch the Here's scrap the He's all right. And now his main job later on, right now, he's got a chance to make these next few. He wants to try to get that 11 ball out of there. Because that's blocking the pocket for 
the four. All right, that was a good smart shot. And the feeling's gonna use the bridge here. We'd love to get that two out of the way. And you see that the 11 ball is still in the way of the four ball. Hmm. I think I would just tap it into unless the two ball is the two ball is not frozen. I don't know if it's not the best. Well, he might be able to leave the fourteen. We'll see what he comes up with here. Well, he's eyeing the seven. I'm not crazy about that move, but although if he makes it, he could be looking real pretty. I don't know. Shaking his head, he doesn't like any of his options. The problem here is the cue ball is going to go right into the 15, which could leave him in no shot on the two. All right, he has opened up the table here for Greg. We'll see what he can do. Again, Greg on the hill here, so a victory in this rack would be a 3-0 split for him. A sizable advantage to start this match for the party animals. Greg has looked very comfortable at the table throughout this match. Does not waste a lot of time in between shots. Nope. Has no time to talk himself out of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why. Yeah. There's a lot to be said for that. Nice shot. Open those up. Did he get a shot on the... Yeah. I, oh. I don't think that 11 goes past the 4. I'm not sure if it does or not, but it's going to be by millimeters if it does. Shooting the 13 is going to mean he's going to have to try to make the 11 and the 2 at the same time. That time out. The party animals now with the time out. Some folks asking about the combination of players for party animals. I think we did say that both the 6 and 7 can play because they're yes. carrying a 2. And you know what? Yes. And you know what? Trey, uh, uh, Troy can play also, I realized, on, on the team bank shots. If they play all fours, they have four fours. Yes. Good math. <laughs> four fours and brilliant. seven. Four fours yeah, and yeah. seven. Hey, can I? I need to give a shout out to Felicia. Mm -hmm. Felicia made her team flea bags. <laughs> Came out for play in the ladies championship and about three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, Felicia had a brain aneurysm oh out of the God. blue. So we love you, Felicia. We hope you're doing great. She's back in Wilmington, oh, North Carolina. Oh, she's still with us. I'm happy. She's still oh, with us. Um, it's amazing. The doctors are so oh, wow. happy. Yes. Mark has been taking good care of her. She has her whole Coastal that. Carolina Look APA group Ava. taking care of her. So. All right, so he did it. He made it, and he made the both balls at, balls at the same time, and this for 3-0 lead. Big deal. Keep ball falls. Yeah, I sure did. Their plan's working so far. The party is started for the party animals. Greg Woodall with a 5-0 shutout of his opponent, which means a 3-0 shutout in terms of team points. A great start for the party animals. Screaming Goat got it. And they will put up first here in this next match. 
We're going to take a short break here as we get things reset. Each team puts up new players, and we'll be back in just a few moments. Every loss is a, a very valuable lesson that I have taken and um, utilized from my mistakes to make a better person and a better player of myself and others. I want to make a shout out to Leo, Jose. Without these guys, man, we, we all did it as a team, you know. Jose, holy smokes, it's I feel about bad to get for loud him. In here, folks. It's I about think to get so. Loud. Another opportunity for Jose Salas to finish this match off for the World Championship. And there it is. There you go, folks. The Fantastic. Joliet, Illinois. They are the 2020-2021 APA World 8-Ball Champions. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, first of all, I want to say thank you, God. Thanks, God. Thank you, thank APA. You so and thank, thanks to all my friends, my family, mis amigos, mi familia. And we our were friends. on a mission together as a team, and we became a family. Be consistent, practice, and always, always listen to the master players, the better shooters. They will guide you and they will lead you. My husband has led me and I have led him and taught him things. Also I wanna say right now, cause my kids are watching, Junior Daniel, we did it baby. Number one baby, long shots, we did it. Daniel, look at daddy's trophy. <laughs> Arena in Las Vegas at the table. Carrie Klinkosh of the Party Animals. 
preparing to break. Those balls opened up nicely. Nothing went in on the break. And her opponent is Teresa Terry. Goes by Terry Slight. We have two skill level fours, which means we have a race to three. Carrie's got her hoodie on. I can't see what her animal is. Like <laughs> she really threw this whole thing off. Oh wait, like, maybe when we see somebody the... will tell us. Yeah, yeah. In the photo. There it there is. There it is. Oh, it's a cat. She's a cat. Oh, she's the cat. Okay. Carrie the cat. Carrie the cat. Klinkosh. And at the table, Terry Slight. All right. She's taking over the solids here. They're looking pretty good. Tough one right here with that seven. Don't want to leave that for last. If you have any plans on trying to run out, obviously a skill level four is looking at the game a little bit differently than a, than a six or a seven would. As far as running out, there's times that the run out is available and makeable, and they do, but often right off the break, it's pretty rare that the balls are laying just enough to where there's not too much to solve. Obviously, this is going to be an issue later on. She's going to go ahead and go for the seven right now, which I think is a really good idea. All right. Huge match here for Terry. Their team down. A lot of pressure. Three points already. Yeah, this is. You don't want to call it a must win, but it's pretty dang close. Obviously, have a lot of faith in her here. She must have been playing well all throughout the tournament. So you're the one. You're the one that need to stop the bleeding for right now. She has played six matches, tied for the team lead. This is her seventh match. Looks like they throw a steady diet of their fours in most matches and then mm. mm -hmm. well if they stay with the fours then they can play troy fessel yeah. who is their skill level seven that puts out their six two sixes and the five that they have on the roster so we'll see what they're going to do obviously some of that's going to have to do with what their opponents are going to do mm -hmm. and what the score is i love listening to the team captains and discuss among themselves and among the team trying to figure out the best strategy as you know it's not just about playing well a lot of it has to do with the put up and who to put up and when do you go strong right off the bat or do you try to hold back mm -hmm. and leave your higher skill level players for the end well i thought it was interesting before the first match we knew who bank shots had put up and before the party animals put up you had already picked who they would put up. You were right. Yeah, I it's almost right. like you've been. A, guess, it's almost like you've been around this this league or something for a while. I don't know. Fourteen years. Fourteen years been a league operator. Yeah. Huh? And I have some crazy fun people in the coast of Carolina. I tell you what. Jonathan Neiman is he here? <laughs> is Jonathan here? Jonathan is not here. Oh this year. bummer. But he's qualified. He always he qualified for um, regionals again. So. It's up to him. He'll be back out here for singles again. He probably again. needs a break from Vegas. He No, he doesn't no. want a break from it. No, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like a fun guy. We did a story on him. If you... Mullet man. Yeah, mullet man there on our Facebook page. Yeah. Won our national uh, or our pool player championships, our eight ball. Eight ball this year he won? Eight ball classic? Uh, right? Eight yeah. ball, correct. And uh, vowed that if he won, he would cut that mullet off. And true to his word, several weeks later, at your, sure at your world qualifier, in front of a huge audience and the camera's rolling he cut it all off and donated it right locks, yes yep locks for love or locks of love very cool story meanwhile carrie Klinkosh writing her own story here in the she's gonna have to watch match. it here with a double hit i hope the referee is paying attention here careful All right, no problem there.
I know Terry here played in the semifinals. Not sure about Carey. Carey's only played one match so far in this tournament. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What a time to give her her second match. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. We'll see if she feels the weight of the pressure or if she says, you know what? Second time I'm up, I can do this. This is nothing. Oh, ball in hand there. Nothing hit a cushion. Yeah, I'd love to talk to Greg and ask him about that because you're right. She's played one match. She is one of three fours that they have on the roster. Both the other fours have played a high number of matches. Maybe they just wanted to give her a chance. Yeah, I Greg like it. Greg started things off. and Secret weapon. Maybe, yeah. maybe carries See. the secret weapon. Well, actually, they said their MVP is Anna Arboleta, who we've not seen yet, skill level two, who's played four matches here. So, And probably the key to having their seven be able to play, I'm guessing, is yeah. one of the reasons that she's a, such a big deal. But Carrie Klinkosh for now. Carrie the cat. What a fun idea to do the yeah, animal. Yeah, I like it. Party animals. The back of the jerseys have all the, looks like all of them on there. Mm-hmm. I'd love to know how they get assigned a certain animal. Like, does it have to do with their personality or is it just random? Like, is Carrie a cat person? <laughs> well, she might be one of those that, like, pounces and she's like, oh, there you go. She pounces on the there opponent. There you go. There you go. Or sneaks up on them. They do that too. I have <laughs> there two you of go. them. <laughs> sneaks up on them. <laughs> they sneak up behind you and pop you on the head or. Nice. So. Oh, look at Nate, 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 Nate. She said, I made, made the, the shirts. shirts. Good job. I'd love to hear the story of each of the animal selection, if anybody out there knows. Derek said, so far it looks like it goes, it's going by the first letter of their name. That could be. Oh. Carrie the cat. Okay. Who had the dolphin? We had I Greg the goat. So. We had Greg George, the goat. George Saunders had a dolphin. Oh. I don't think that... That didn't work. I don't think that one holds up. Yeah, not... A, you know, you have to be on a team. This is a team event. So, yes, you have to be on a team if you... Um, have a, a an actual skill level. You have your matches played. What is it? Twenty in the last two years. You are you can play in the mini mania. Mini -mania. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the rule is. And you're a current member, of course. Oh, nice. Nice job. She looks like she, this whole pressure thing isn't doesn't bother her at all. She's just kind of... Got very quiet in here, right? When she took that shot, the yeah. music was in between. Yeah, the I know. Music. <laughs> no problem for Carrie Klinkosh. It's a fun name to say. All right, a little tricky here getting on the 11. As you can see, she's frozen on the rail here and straight in and she can't I don't even think she can go rail first so the scratch is kind of looming so she's going to go for the 11 now she's got to be careful here though and if she makes this she's liable to get stuck hit it hard you're liable to scratch so we'll see what she can pull off Ooh, uh, she avoided the up. scratch at least deep in that pocket Phil Vaughn, safe travels back. Thank you for being here. I noticed Phil was I ran sitting out there at the, uh, on the head of the arena there, and he is a very big APA supporter, so glad he was nice able to guy. make it out and wish him safe trip home. Sorry he couldn't stay for this match. All right, so time out here. 
trying to find that sweet spot to hit to make sure to make contact with the 11, but you never know. The 11 can go on the side pocket there. If she hits the bottom part of the 11, it could go here. If you hit the top part of the 11, then chances are the cue ball will hit and come down here and at least leave it tough. Different Terry. teammate handling the timeout here, too. I believe this is Greg Pugh, Jr., at the table. Oh. Trying to get her lined up, but it's not to be. Ball in hand to Terry. That makes sense, though. You know, you connect with different people. Some are more auditory, some are more... Mm. You know, especially a lot of times the seven will come out and tell a, a two, scale level two, go ahead and draw the ball back about to here. I mean, that's not going to work. So <laughs> if you have somebody right. that can actually talk the way the two connects with, you know, so if somebody is a four or five, a lot of time are a much better coach for a lower skill level than a seven would be. Meanwhile, Terry looking to get on the board first. Win the first rack, not just in this match, but in this overall match for her team. Pockets the one. All right. Grabs her pocket marker. A thin tester here to be the first to... Get on the board. Again, it's 3 nothing here in the favor of the party animals. This would be a... Nice shot. Beautiful. Beautiful stroke. She really stayed down on that. A good start there for Terry on the board first, leading one nothing in this race to three for both players. She will have the break. While we've got a second, I want to make sure I acknowledge all of our sponsors, our friends at Pool Dog, our friends at Aramith, Action Cues, and of course, Diamond Tables, 350 plus tables here. Terry is ready to break here. Scratch there on the break. Table will remain open. Carrie will have ball in hand behind the head string there. And if you're just joining us, you're watching coverage of the APA World 8 Ball Championship here at Pool Dog Arena in Las Vegas. Started with 730 eight ball teams down to the final two. $30,000 on the line. And the table remains open. All right. Kind of a messy table here. It's going to be a, a lot of work to break these balls up. You can see here there's not a lot of love 
going on there. It's amazing though how sometimes one shot and everything just opens wide up opens up wide open because just a slight touch of something can open it up. And that's why when, when balls are open, for those of you who, who aspire to or do run out, the main thing is, just like in the game of straight pool, Ooh. you never, or nine ball or any pool, when the balls are open, do not touch them. So fi try to find a path where you don't go into the balls because it's amazing how an easy, relatively easy run out can turn nasty real quick. Carrie will take the high balls. The first match had Greg Woodall and Terry Slight. 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 Uh, first match was Nick. I mean, no, not Terry. Winsat yeah, Nick Winsat. That's right. For the Terry's bank shots. Here. Greg Woodall won that match five zero. Mm hmm. All right, that ball's going to stop nicely in front of the side pocket for later, hoping that she's going to get back to the table. We'll see what Terry can do here first. And in case you've never been out here for either this event or for the singles championship, pool players championship in May, you will be absolutely floored when you walk in and see all the vendors we have that come out here and every product if there's anything <laughs> i don't care if it's yeah you know extensions or cue sticks or cases or you know every gadget you can think of that we have in billiards it's it's great yeah a lot of good deals that you can get out here too so any kind of they stay stick busy. you could have ever wanted you bet we have all the championship shirts you can get out here as well and a lot of other different fun T-shirts that they're selling. Get all your Christmas shopping done in August if you come out here for your favorite pool player. Mm-hmm. All right. There's three balls. I'm going to give her... Oh, she went for it to kind of get Gonna down get there on the other the side. side yeah, she sure... Oh, oh, not quite. Looked like it was heading straight to that side pocket. Just caught that corner there. Carrie Klinkosh back to the table of the party animals there out of Winter Park, Florida. They're in the central Florida area. Do you spend a lot of time in Florida? Is I that do. anywhere near where you I spend hang out most of my time family? in Tampa, which is central but uh coastal central. Mm -hmm. So they're on the Gulf Coast, but not too far. Hour and a half, two hours probably from that area. Like that warm weather. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I'm in South Carolina and I'm I'm already kinda over the warm weather. Yeah. And the humidity and the But again, gives you know, makes for I'll Good time to be with, inside. I'll, I'll check back with you in December and see how you feel about the warm December. Weather. I'm still yeah. okay. It's Jan at the end of January is where okay. Enough with the jacket. Where's <laughs> where's the warmth? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Teresa looks. I mean, now, uh, yeah, Teresa Terry. She looks, looks like very Terry. very focused. Yeah, I like her game face. I'm under pressure. Seems yeah. like. Oh, that just barely came in. Again, the table's going to slide a lot more here than it does in the main tournament room because all we've played so far are two matches on these tables. The first match here in this in this eight ball competition, and then we had um, the Jack and Jill yesterday. Yeah. And that's all that's been played on this table. That's why... The new cloth is always sliding for those of you who had the luxury of playing on brand new cloth. That's what it's gonna that's what's gonna happen. The tables in the 
main arena. I've had a lot of play on them, so you don't see that as much there. Almost 2,600 teams in this year's World Pool Championships. Well, it looks like she's going to go for this combination here. Oh, no, she could see the five. All right, now can she also make this seven because she is straight enough to where she could actually, if she can make it, she can roll right up for the two. This would be pretty sweet. Oh, no, she under, undercut it. But what a mess she has left here for Carrie. You can see the, what is that, the uh, 13 and the 9 are tied up. So it's still advantage, Terry, especially considering where the 7 is, the 2 ball is makeable. It's going to be an interesting thing here if... Bank shots can come back and win 2 0 or 3 0. Now, all of a sudden, it's a whole Be new huge, match. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, Carrie's got other ideas here, though. Payout here is $30,000. So the winner, $15,000 for the second place and uh, the 730 teams that are here all got some cash mm -hmm. just by being here the so last place gives a little bit yeah i think the two teams that finished third place earlier today i think they each tied into comb 7500 if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. so not a bad yeah you get the payout all the way down through the top uh i think fourth of the field basically gets the right and then, like you said, uh, every team that comes out gets that last, they call it last place prize right. money. No, nobody practices on this table before the match starts. They've been playing on the semifinals finals tables before. So as soon as the semifinals ended. Yeah, they all shifted over here. They there came was, over here. There wasn't much time in between. No. Both those matches went long. Both went to sudden death. And uh, the produ production crew, obviously, is also working, setting it up. I want to give a shout-out to them for everything you guys do. It, it feels like an ESPN and all the yeah. e years of ESPN productions that I was involved in. This is, feels just like it. It's nice. pretty amazing. See the payouts there. $1.3 million paid out at this year's event. A little over $1.3 million. Time out here. For bank shots. Well, the one thing you need to make sure of if she goes and goes ahead and shoots this two ball, that she doesn't go into the eight and let the eight ball fly. She hits it way too thick on the two ball. The eight's going to head towards that side pocket. It could go. If it could even go off the fifteen ball. So you got to be real careful here shooting this. Maybe better off just rolling the two ball out here. Hitting it softly enough just to make to make contact with the cushion and leave a safety. Because be careful with that eight. There you go. Nice shot. You know, defense is obviously big in every every game. Straight pool, nine ball, one pocket, I don't care what you play. But an eight ball, it's not just the defensive shots, but it includes just rolling your ball into the pocket sometimes or leaving it out in the open or intentionally not making a ball and trying to play a safety even though you have an open shot. Good shot there. We often see that in the finals, especially in the eight ball, how often we have seen your scalable twos and threes that are not necessarily making more than one or two balls, three balls 
in a row, but they play smart. Somebody has worked with them a little bit and say, when you're faced with this situation, roll the ball into here, do this, and get their train of thought working right. It's harder to teach somebody how to have the stroke to draw across the table and all that, but oh, wow. you can teach anybody some, you know, the logic of defense. Good shot there. Yeah. Nice thin hit. No, he's flirting with scratching. They hit a little too thick. Grazed the other ball, but she hit that really well. I have a feeling that when she's going to just tap this 11. Oh, she went for the back. Oh, might as well. Another tester here for Terry. Yeah, I believe she might be able to just hit it short enough here to come in and make contact with the two ball that way. Again, you got to remember the table slides. So she's going to have to hit this low, I think, to be able to do it. And I think that's going to go too long. Yeah. Can get the balls off the cushion first. There you go. If she stops there, she should have a good angle to get to the next ball on the rail, which would be 11. Still a problem here for for Carrie when we're looking at this. You can see right here the two ball is going to create a problem. Now she, she needs to really look at this because if she yeah, just kind of time out here. yeah, if she just makes this, she might end up getting snookered behind the eight, and that's even going to be worse. She needs to make sure she gets to a place where she can make it. But I don't even know if I would have her make it right now. Just roll roll the 11 into the rail a little bit and back out down towards the corner pocket. Make sure you snooker. Terry on the, uh, on the two ball. Just get that 11 out. All right. Okay. I like going down to the end rail here. She might want to try to go ahead and hope that she makes it this way. But I also like coming down this way where the cue ball gets stuck kind of down there. Oh, boy. All right, this is the opportunity. Carrie's been waiting for ball in hand on the two. But check this out. Both the side and the corner, both these pockets are blocked. So she can't make it in either one of those. That means she's going to have to either roll it and maybe play the eight ball down here, maybe draw it back a little bit, and come down and play the eight here. Oh, no, she has the, what am I talking about? She's got the, oh, ne never mind. She's the high balls, yeah. Yeah. Well, at least I got to do some drawing there. I had little some drama sketching. going. I had some drama some going there. Yeah. Thank you, Josh. I realized that. I appreciate that. Okay. Right. Nice little touch cut shot, and she should be coming right back up. The shot on the eight. 
just speed. Gonna grab the bridge here. Mm, a little firm, a little thick on the ball. I brought it more towards the center of the table. A little thinner hit, and she would have come out more straight. But she's got a shot at it. We'll go for the bank. I can't imagine. I think she's, she should she really should cut it because the beauty of cutting it is that even if you miss it, even if you miss the cut, yeah, you're going to leave it towards the pocket and the cue ball's going to the other side of the table, but she is playing defense. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. They did not have their time out, time yeah, out left. Time yeah. Out. Now a chance for Terry to pick up another game, put herself on the hill, guarantee herself at least a point if she does that. Well, she plays a safety of her own. Nice touch. Nice touch. All right. I'm going to have to put some left on this one. Actually, jack up the cube stick a little bit maybe. And actually shoot it out here and then bring the cue ball back with left spin. But she is a defensive player. We'll see. She could just roll, make a, com an, a intentional foul also and just roll the two ball into the eight. And tie them up and just play patiently, go into a chess game and just kind of wait until something better develops. The ball on hand here obviously would be devastating. Again, when you're this nervous too, oh, she's, she did, she snapped to it. There you go. That's a smart move. Just barely touch it. Oh, did she go too far? Yeah, I think she, I think it actually passes. Are you going to be very deliberate here? Pockets there you the go. two. Leaves herself nicely on the eight. Pockets this eight ball. She will put herself on the hill and will have guaranteed herself no less than one point in this second match. More importantly, though, Ava, gives herself an opportunity now to... Yep. Post a shutout of her opponent. Put her team squarely back in the match if she can win this final game here. But thus far, Terry Slight has been huge for the bank shots. We'll take a quick break here in between racks. A lion. We go out and eat. <laughs> it would be the one ball because we're number one. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, amazing. Shame. Cool turn. All right, back in action. Yeah, but it's a fun day. I like that. You like that? That's kind of like what your daughter did at the junior. Yeah. Just... She's a natural, isn't she? Yeah, she sure is. Those of you who didn't tune into that, you got to see that was a that was a fun event to watch. She's working on a future career in yeah, TV. She's taking after daddy. All right, Terry. Boy, what a huge turnaround this would be if she can win this third rack. Yeah. So she was hoping to do it right this minute. Oh, that didn't work. She jumped up on the break there and did not hit him very solidly. So not too too bad. Carry Klinkosh back to the table. Carry of the party animals there out of Winter Park, Florida. Team Bank Shots are out of Louisville, Kentucky. Not too far away from the home of the diamond tables there. That's true. Was down in Louisville in January for the Derby City Classic. You ever been to that event, the Derby City? Long, long time yeah, ago. That's yes. quite an event. It's it's crazy. Oh, yeah. Everything going on there. The way they run it, the scheduling is uh -huh. kind of crazy with the buyback in and all that. It's and you think we run late here when we sometimes the first couple of days. Yeah. Was it. Nice shot. She hit that with some authority. I like that. <laughs> Hi, Richard. <laughs> Richard thinks I should get a raise. Nice. All right. I like Richard even more now. Mitch likes that too. Oh, I, Thumbs I up by Mitchell. I didn't see he's here. Yeah, honey, you're not getting a raise. <laughs> Make that clear. <laughs> All right, that 14 ball is going to go down and marry the cluster down at the other end there. Our buddy Raymond Linares tuning in. Quite the pool player there. You know Raymond. He's former U.S. amateur champion. Mm -hmm. Now putting himself to the test in a lot of the pro events, I know. Trying to make it a go. Hoping to see him down in Orlando. We moved the U.S. Amateur Championship down there I in think November. If, I think if you're young enough and your life um, allows you to kind of go for it, if you win the U.S. Amateur, it might be time for you to try it because that means that you're starting, you, you know, you still have some work to do to play with the pros to, to mm. make some kind of a living at it, but at least you go, okay, I, I can actually do this. Well, now there's the opportunity. I mean, there's yeah. so many pro events now. You have exactly. legitimate pro tour with what Matchroom's doing, some of the things Predator's doing. You know, there's, the, I don't know what you think, Ava. I mean, as a former professional, but it seems like there's no better time to, to have been a professional, no, at least for the great. men, Yes, right? No question about it. And for the, and the, for the tournaments, I mean, when we majority of my career the the by far the biggest income was exhibitions and sponsorship it wasn't from tournaments you yeah. know what i mean majority of the money that i made through the years was sponsorships and and shows and whether it was autograph signing or trick shots or whatever it was corporate events but now it's getting to the point where in the men's and the women's where the price funds are starting to get closer mm -hmm. and closer where, where you would think they should be yeah. as popular as this sport is. Not too many. There's still not too many events that pay like we do here. And obviously you right. have to split it. But I mean, <laughs> even in the singles, yeah. if, you, if there's a lot of pro tournaments still that pay the same we do, you know, at our singles championship. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, now let's see. All right, that was a nice follow-through, nice stroke again. Yeah, we just did another episode of Billiards Digest Live here at the in Pool Dog Arena the other day, and I think Mike was covering the Soaring Eagle, the the WPBA Masters. I think top prize there was fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah.
Carrie would really, really, really like to pick up at least a rack here. That would be huge. She needs to stop this cue ball here if she's going to have a shot at the 14. Well, she let it go. Again, this is my favorite part. You know, years ago, as, as most of you know, they've been playing APA for a while. If you want a, a, an individual match here, it would be worth one point. We went to the three-point system quite a few years ago now. Yeah, it's got to be at least 10 years. At least I was 10 trying years. to think of that today, how long ago we, we switched that up. And but it's made it so much more interesting now because if Kerry could get on the hit, win, I mean, uh, get on the board, just win one game, that would stop Terry from a 3-0. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, instead of 3-3, if she even if ter Terry wins, it would be 3-2. So instead of a tied ball game, that yeah. one Every point rack makes huge. a difference. Every yeah. rack is huge. And I know that, you know, I think we see a lot more sudden death matches in the tournament. Right. You know, matches that go the distance. It's just made it so much more interesting. And put-up has made it more interesting, too, because, you know, a lot of times teams would it took a lot of it took away the opportunity you know how a lot of teams would put their strongest players three right. up in a row to try to get that three nothing boom it's over but now the other team it might be three you know two to nothing two to one even if you win the other team can come back mm -hmm. and win it so it's been it's it's a lot more interesting All right, that I think uh, Terry kind of said, well, let's see what you can do here with getting to the eight, but the eight bar is safely guarded at this time, even if Carrie manages to make the 14 and the 10, which is not a short order, just making those two at this sit in this situation. Ava, there was a question about whether APA will ever go to a 25 cap, but I'll go ahead and answer that for you. The answer would <laughs> no. be no. We have no interest in doing that. No, I mean, this is an amateur league, and it's not just an amateur league for your amateur sixes and sevens. or five. It, It's an amateur league that, that kind of there's a place for everyone. And... Um, it's an awful lot of people that have started their pool career playing the APA, f falling in love with it, which obviously, you know, there's a lot of boyfriend, girlfriends, maybe one of them has never played yeah. before. There, there's a lot of reasons why we love the 23 role. And a lot of people, the nines or sevens that say, you know, it's hard for us to, well, you know what? There's a, we have a lot more twos and threes than we do nines and sevens, so right. that that doesn't make any sense. There's a lot more people out there that have never played pool than are good at pool, right? Yeah. So, and if you make it 25, then so, sooner or later it's going to be. Why don't you make it 27, 27 and yeah. then it's not APA yeah. anymore? We're yeah. this is who we are. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can do here. I think she's going to hit the right side of it and just bring the cue ball down to the center. Cushion, center diamond. Great shot. Nice speed there. There's a big hit coming up, and she should be able to hit it. I would think, no, not really. Huh. Definitely have a hit here, but not easy. The one ball has it blocked. She can't, she can't come this way. That's not going to work because... Of the one or the two rail so the two railer is gone. Let's see what she's gonna come up with here. Uh su no sudden death in the finals. This is the one this is the one round where there is no sudden death. We have it all the way up through the semifinals. A lot of matches to go through, a lot of rounds to go through, so we do utilize it just like we do in 
qualifications coming here and all that, but finals here, they get to play it out. We figure the pressure of being here, playing on the stream and everything else is enough for most of the amateurs that have never been put in this position before. Okay, we're going to see here how aggressively Terry is. You know, for the years of doing commentary with the pros, you kind of knew what people's styles were. Sure. Men or women, you knew that who was more of a power player who likes to roll the ball, who likes to draw the ball or stun it. or But you don't know these players. We haven't seen them play much before, right before the match started. Mm -hmm. So some play more defense, some go for it. Regardless of, regardless of skill levels, everybody's got their own style. I'm going to answer Russell here while she is assessing the table. Um, you can sure you can rank yourself out of the out of playing in the league, um, but if you know, like we like to look at it, if you're not a pro, you're an amateur. So, I have asked one of our Pros at one point that not to play. Um, the, you know, you get to the point where where it's you're super nine. Your league operator may say, "Hey, listen, why don't you play masters?" But it's right. it's kind of you're so far. But m m you know, normally not because, like I, like you said, it's up to the to the pros to decide who the pro is. APA can't really decide who a pro is. It's not our our job per se. Once in a while, we ask somebody not oh. to play. She pockets that was the big. one. That, that was big. in the side, and now Carrie Klinkosh. The wow, this is her time. Point in this match. All right. She really should be looking into playing the 14 first here because of where the 8 is. If the five ball wasn't there, then shooting this ball in and shooting this and coming down would have been good. But in this situation, oh, it's going to talk it over here. here. All right, he's going to have her come down. The tough part about that is she's going to cross the line. What he's talking about having her do is then make the 10 here, the 14, and then she's going to go across this line. You stop here, it's a really tough shot. You go too far, it's a really tough shot. So what you want to do is always feed into it if you can. You have a much larger room to error with your speed. But I think he's going to make sure that she just has a good chance of making these two get on the eight. All right, here we go. Okay, so far so good. This is a speed shot. The entire bench of party animals are holding their breath right now. That's got to run. That's got to run. Oof. Well, she's got a shot. The scratch in the corner is taken out of it in any way, shape, or form, or should be, because of the five being there. I don't think that was a risk anyway, unless she hit it way too thick. So just bear down. She's marked it in this corner pocket right here. This is, it's not a must make, but it sure would be nice to stop their opponent's bank shots from getting a 3 0.
Oops. Um, she must be playing safety here. That wouldn't be too bad. Well, not sure there. April obviously didn't go on that bank shot, so I'm not sure if she was just moving it out of the way, saying I'm playing a defensive shot, trying to get that cue ball down. Good defense there. Split him up, leave him long, and tied him all up at the same time. Draw back here is if she clips the left side of the eight, the five is going to go right towards the corner and leave an easy shot. This is not easy. And she could try to roll it. And I mean slow roll it down and hope she's got the perfect st speed down to leave defense. But if it comes out a lot at, at all, then she'll leave a shot. If she can get the eight ball behind and shoot it down this way, but I don't think there's enough room to do that, to bank it, to get that five up. We'll see. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! All right, that's the match, All right, folks. That's it. Terry Slight is going to pick up that third game, and what that means, Ava, is she's going to take a three-zero split out of that second match. So we're now tied at three tied, tied. points apiece. Yep, -er. And this match has changed dramatically, folks. Well, the way the semifinals went for both of these teams, both were down in a battle that could have gone either way down, I believe, on both tables down to the very last rack in sudden death in the fifth match. And, like, you could hear a pin drop in here when you were, I was watching the end of the semifinals. So a lot of fight in these two teams. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is Jonathan Neiman at the table. Or as some have affectionately referred to him, the mullet man. And he did tell me that he's going to cut it all off if he wins today. Really? So, oh, yeah. And he's got it. Jonathan Neiman, Wilmington, North Carolina, your eight ball classic champion in the red tier, folks. How's my hair looking? Your hair is looking good. In fact, uh, I believe Ava and Jason were talking about it, that if you won, you were going to cut it. Uh, I did say that. I did say that. <laughs> it's worth it! <laughs> it's so worth it! <laughs> Hey, 
Listen, I know that you don't play pool, but my league team is looking for someone tonight who's never played, so you're coming with. Great, I'll see you there. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, Welcome. hey how you doing? believe it you did it we're going to Vegas Vegas baby Jonathan made the Kentucky commercial. Get me out of here. match in this eight ball world championship we're going to see from the team of the bank shots logan minzenberger skill level four going against danielle hatch i believe danielle's new last name is woodall danielle woodall also a skill level four which means we've got another three three race here in pool dog arena overall match scored at tied match score is tied at three points a piece and a scratch on the break for Logan we have had two 3 0 shutouts to start this match one for each team and again these two have gotten had a workout throughout this whole tournament. Danielle's played eight matches so far. Logan has played six so far in this tournament. We saw a little more pressure in the last one. I think Terry handled the pressures, pressure a little bit better than Kerry, but then again, Kerry had only played one match coming into the semifinals. Well, we talked about that. It was it's kind, kind of an interesting final, choice. Yeah, yeah. Three zero. You put up a player that had played only one other match here at the World Championships, and now we're tied at three apiece. I'm going to assume Danielle is. Greg's wife. You mean Greg's Danielle's wife, husband? That's what you meant to say. Yes, yeah. Danielle is. <laughs> well, didn't I say Danielle is Greg's wife? Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, well, but you just I said, flipped it. I sure did. Well, I meant because she changed her name. <laughs> the know. recent name change. I know. I know. I was just picking. Meanwhile, Logan here at the table looking to maintain the momentum from his teammate. Terry Slight's big victory in the last match. Pockets the nine in the corner. Yep, Danielle and Greg. Happy couple. Married just a couple of months ago.
Oh, hung. hung that up. He just barely went in. We'll see if he can. He's looking at this 11 where it's makeable. Not going to be easy to get to. Yes, it's makeable, but getting to it is going to be trickier. Shooting a 15 right now. And just twisted his wrist a little bit coming, following through on that. And back up comes Danielle. Danielle Hatch. And again, this is for Team Party Animals. Right of Winter Park, Florida. Right 730 there. teams down yeah. to two. 30,000. On the line, as well as all the glory. An awfully f beautiful trophy. You know, the money you spend, but the title, the title is always there. All right, he's got some work here. Start out, was he going to go for the bank shot, I would think? But the 11 ball's not going to be very makeable, I don't think. And if he does make that, and up comes Danielle again. This Both players keep looking over and eyeing the obvious problem on the table. Besides making the balls that are open, that's obviously a big one right there. The 8 ball is also guarded especially for Danielle, being where that 10 ball is. We are about two hours into this match. Third match here in the World 8-Ball Championship Final. Oh, she wanted that to drift down just a hair more to get on that one. I don't think she can hit the seven ball in the in the side either, so I think she may have to kick at this. Danielle is oh, the no, rabbit. Her spirit animal is the rabbit. On the jersey. A spirit animal, I love it. Party animals, party animals. And she's playing the one ball here. In cut, cue ball should come back up to the eight. Oh, just drifted and snookered her. All right, let's see if she can at least make contact and maybe get a little lucky there. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time, we'll have the final match in the ladies' eight ball championship. Should be another exciting one here in Pool Dog Arena. That's always a fun one. Ladies have a lot of enthusiasm. And a lot of fun, and they yeah. really can have fun, high fives, and usually mm -hmm. really are a cohesive, fun group. Yeah. I always look forward to that one. They really turn out to root each other on. I would expect this arena to be filled with lots of ladies tomorrow. It'll be ladies' night here at Cool Dog night. Arena. You know, I walked through. I was I was giggling to myself. I should have filmed it because I was walking through the arena when the, the first day when the ladies started. And the sea of women down each aisle in our big tournament room, mm -hmm. the entire place, and a sea of men sitting there watching all the spouses that got a free ride out. To, well, not a free ride, but a ride out to <laughs> Vegas. A right. reason to go to Vegas because they're going. You're not going out with me uh, without me, honey. <laughs> so it was kind of a kind of a funny thing to watch. 
All right. Let's see if she can. This is a good time to take a time out. See if they can find that. Be careful not to put any spin on this. Our referee is going to take a look here to make sure that it's a good hit. In case she goes a little too far with it. Again, each team gets one timeout per rack. I'm trying to make contact with that four ball, avoiding the 11. She looks like she's going a little bit long, but maybe she, yeah, she went too long. Good news is that unless Logan runs out or plays a defense or something here, the, at least the four ball is out in the open now and easier to get to. And all Danielle can do is hope to get back to the table again. I like the way he's playing this, the order of the balls, 13-11. 13-11, would be the ultimate, if you can get that angle. I think with just a stop shot, oh, oh, he let it go. Still okay, but that was, stop shot would have made it perfect to just slide down a little bit for the 10. Now he's got a little bit more work to do. All right, change of plans, no problem. Get out of, out of line like that, and that worked out beautifully. Perfect. Natural position just to come up, went into the eight, and now, I don't know, pretty much a stop shot, come back a little bit this way. And if the eight ball does go there, you can just go ahead and shoot that stop shot. It's going to have the angle to go out for the eight ball. Like I said, all Danielle can do is hope here. And take another time out here. Yeah, what it does not want is for the cue ball to drift over too far and leave him backwards cut kind of on the 50-yard line. So decide you want to roll the cue ball down and come back up. Want to roll it in and try to hold it for a shot. You want to hit it firm and come around. All right, decision made. Now it's the execution part. Like it's just, oh, he just decided to, oh, wait a minute. Did not see that coming. Call me an offensive player. I didn't see that coming, but that was not a bad move there. We'll find out if it paid off. I believe Danielle has already taken her time out. Yeah, I think we've seen the time out on both sides now mm -hmm. for this first rack. Got to be careful here. You hit the top part of this four ball, the right part from our view, the nine, eight ball could go straight in the side pocket. But she hit it solid. Is she going to get some love? No. Made a good contact, though. That's a you know, big part of the battle. That was a smart decision, though. A timeout, playing a defense right there. He didn't like where the cue ball was going. It was got a kind of a funkier angle than his coach wanted. He said, just go ahead and let's just play a defense. Oh, boy. Holy moly. 
kind of rushed that a little bit, quick back stro uh, strokes, and just kind of went ahead and shot it. And what an opportunity for Danielle. I, didn't, I don't know that she thought she was getting back to the table in this rack. She's queuing down. Uh, she should be. Oh, she is almost straight in. That's why. Wow. I thought she had an angle more. <laughs> All right. That's a hanger. You do this in your sleep, don't you, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> My nightmares. You make that. Yeah. <laughs> My nightmares. Oh, that's not an easy shot. From where she's at. Here we go. Just focus on this. Not too firm where you're flirting with a scratch. Just there you go. There you go. Nice shot. Nice and how did she hit it? How did she hit that under the pressure? Wow. Got to give it to her. Got to give it to her. All right. Danielle is on the board first. In this race to three, she will have the break. And there are your payouts, eight ball six hundred and three thousand nine hundred total of one point three zero five eight forty. I love that we're going down to the penny there. Pays all the way down to last place, gets money back, making it out here. A big thank you to our sponsors to Aramith Billiard Balls Action. Q's Diamond, Fool Dog, everybody comes together to make, put on this amazing event, supporting APA and all their players. And that was a solid break. Nothing went, though. I don't believe it did. It. Yeah, it did. She did make something here. I feel like this has been quite the seesaw battle. It was all party animals in the first match, all, all bank shots in the... Second match, and now the party animals with a little reason to celebrate early in this third match. I'd be very surprised if we don't go five matches deep in this one. Yeah, Especially yeah, me at this too. Point with us tied at three. <clears throat> me too. Especially our money's yeah. worth today. That's right. <laughs> These two teams, party animals, are from Winter Park, Florida, and Bank Shots from Louisville, Kentucky. I see a new little strut here in Danielle's walking yeah. around the table after that last eight ball. Like, I came to play. Get yep. out of my way. She kind of bounced around there. and We'll see if she can keep that up. Got her some confidence. Maybe get rid of some nerves. All right. Logan's job is to shake off what just happened in the last rack. And just bear down, a long way to go. Race to three for both of these players. They're both skill level fours. Not a lot of fun to look at here for Danielle. I think she can make the two ball possibly. She's got the seven if she cannot. Well, you see there are two balls wide open. Four, three is tied up. I think she was trying to go into the balls there and break them up a little bit. Just put a little too much juice on it. Hit it with some high two. That's going to kind of make the cue ball die as it comes off the rail when you hit it a solid hit on the object ball.
I want to make sure I mention all of our volunteers that come out to be referees here. Oh, yes. World Championships. A lot, a lot of work for them over the course of our event and appreciate all of their help and coming out and being part of this because without them, definitely couldn't do this. Well, it's a what it's, you know. It's a long time to be out here too. It and, is. And we're, we're lucky. There's so many people that have the opportunity to either use their vacation time or have the job. We have one of the, our players, Donnie from Coastal Carolina APA, and his boss. He used to, used to own a billiard room, but he does not anymore. But his boss, Steve, says if it has to do with pool, you can have the time <laughs> off. Just get your job at done ahead of time, and you can have the time nice. off. So yeah. <clears throat> Helps but, when your uh, boss is a pool player. Yes, a good one too, and a good guy. So, but the whole crew here, I have to say, the the you know the league operators to come out here and give their time, the the players, the referees, the all the staff at the APA National Office. It, it takes a village to yeah. make this thing happen. That it does. As Logan Minzenberger at the table here for bank shots, trying to even things up in this race to three. We got to give an extra shout out to Bill too and his crew for all about all of you to make this arena, mm -hmm. design it to make it look as good as an arena in any pool tournament I've ever seen. So I love it. A lot of attention to detail goes into mm -hmm. this. All right, what a chance here for Danielle seven ball and the eight ball are tied up and now she has a chance here to make something happen she can roll this three ball in shoot the four ball down in the corner she can hit a little oomph into it and maybe go in and break the eight and seven up right now she hits just below center a little bit not too much there you go oh she hit it well Good shot. Somebody was asking if the refs can play too or not. I think they can do mini mania. They can do mini mania. Yes, absolutely. And a lot of them do. But you can't be out here to ref and if you're qualified for the event. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit There's of a no conflict dime. of interest. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So that was a really good shot there. She's gonna. It looks like she's gonna go ahead. I would like her to hit this with and just kind of float the cue ball out for the one, and then shoot the seven in the side pocket. But no, no, no good. Forgot to make the ball there. It was not an easy shot. So. A lot of people say to me, you know, I want to, all I want to do is go to Vegas. I've been playing for four years. I have not made it out to Vegas. My team keeps trying. I play both eight ball and nine ball. If that is your plan, if that is, if, this is a social league. You play to have a good time. But if your main goal is to come out here, you got to play the singles, the singles boards, splash boards, mm -hmm. qualify in the region and try to get to your regional qualifier. That is by far other than playing multiple nights and ladies and masters and doubles, whatever it is, singles is by far the easiest way to get out here. Yeah. Another time out here for Logan and his teammates. Bank shots. Okay, it's unusual to see this, it's a little bit early on the rack, but the fact that the balls are open, this is not a bad time to to decide what the game plan is here, which way to go. There's a few different ways. It depends on the first shot is going to be the 15 in the side, which was pretty obvious already. And it's kind of tricky because it depends on the speed he gets now. It's easy for the coach to say, you know, do this, but when the ball you're hitting a ball thin like that, as a skill level, skill level four, it's difficult to get the correct speed, which is what just happened right there. If you're thinking as a six or a seven, yeah, you know to hit the speed to get into the cushion and come back out. But, I would, you know, sometimes you're better off leaving the two skill level fours to leave that 
time out maybe for a little bit later. Again, the score is three to three. We've, this is the third match, even game. Yep. Bank shots drew first blood and won. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Party animals. Party animals. Party animals <clears throat> won the first one. Went ahead three nothing. Bank shots responded they in sure kind. They sure did. Sure did. Three zero for the second match. So we could not be any closer here. There's a. Another opportunity here for Danielle. Conveniently enough that missing that 14 that left it right in the pocket. So nothing easy here for Danielle. And another timeout here, this time party animals. Timeouts are one minute. Should be ample time to come up with something. If you haven't figured out what to suggest in one minute, it's just time to hit it hard. <laughs> or roll a ball to the rail if you want a good defense. And while they're talking, we're going to see this. Promo there for Billiards Digest Live, of which you just made an appearance on mm -hmm. earlier this week. If you haven't seen that, it's I like right here on our Facebook page. Give it a watch. Lots of fun stuff there. Learn a little bit about the pro side of things. And it's it's a it's a really needed and good thing. It's the only show that I know of that's really serious. I mean, there's a lot of talk shows where you kind of, you know. BS a little bit about the game and what's going on and this happened about, but this is literally like a, almost like an ESPN feel to it, covering different areas of, of the professional. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, uh, I think, you know, you and Mike Pinozo, they, they're really doing a really, really good job. Very professional. Covered the juniors this last time and got a little interview with them. They were super cute. Yeah, the, the they're so great. The one girl that plays on the WPBA tour, she's 13 years yeah, old. Yeah, she's amazing. And she's like ranked number 14 or she something. She is just the greatest, yeah. Crazy. So it, Savannah just, Easton is her name. I was, sure wow. is. Up and comers. They get younger and younger, too, the little stinkers. I mean, how would you handle that if you're in a pro and you're playing a 13-year-old? I mean... That, that's got to be a little bit of a challenge, right? I mean, mentally, you'd be thinking, well, she's only 13, but at the same time, you don't want to lose because she's yeah, only but, 13. Yeah, but excuse me, it takes about a rack of her running a rack where you're going, okay, forget about yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> she's you don't care how old cute, she is. Okay? That, or how right? cute she is. <laughs> Cuteness fades, right? <laughs> they, uh, she's very cute. The road runner, she's... Uh, Love that nickname, too. Yeah. She's a really sweet girl, too. And really, I think she's inspiring a lot of other kids too yeah. that and what as you know parents and grandparents and everybody is liking about it too is reminding them that you don't need to just sit in front of you know the screen the electronics yeah except if you're watching our live coverage of the apa world pool championship well, that's different sponsored by oh, pool look at that <laughs> <laughs> say i did that you're so slick <clears throat> All right, let me see here. That was that turned out pretty pretty well there for Logan, the fact that the 10 ball tied up right. That kind of got married there to the 8. I think what the plan here is, she was trying to make that, ooh, look at that. Look at that defense, ladies and gentlemen. Logan might have a cut on the 10 ball on the side. But even though the balls look like there's just a few balls left on the table, this is a trickier table for both players than it looks.
just barely overcut that one. We're going to see here. What? Well, the cue ball didn't come down far enough to be able to make the four and break out that seven. So we're going to see what Danielle's going to come up with. I think the seven ball goes in the side pocket, actually. It's not a fun shot. It might go in the corner even. Mm, if it slows down, yeah, she's got a shot here on the corner pocket. It's not an easy shot. Position is not automatic by any means, considering the it has as much of an angle as it does. We'll see how she ends up. She needs to stay away from this, the other corner. Hmm, she was too worried about that and then that didn't work out quite right, obviously. Good chance here, though, for Logan to get on the board now. He can run this rack out. Tie this third matchup at a game apiece. A lot of leagues getting ready to start right now. Jason, fall we have our session, fall session. Yeah. We're in the last week of play right now, so a lot of nerves going on back at home. And then we have playoffs coming up, and then there's fall league getting ready to start. Back to pool. It's back yeah. to pool season. Sure is. Some folks take the summers off. My world pool season has always been all season yeah well you live in one of those warm places yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. sure do all right chance to tie this one up I like his game face right there he jumped nope. up a little bit just got he had to stay down Smooth, think smooth, and just keep your head down until the job's over, which is hard to do when you're nervous. It's hard to do, period, for most people. We'll see if Pros Danielle included, can but... take advantage of the missed eight ball here. If she can run out here, she would guarantee her team at least one point in this match. And also give her the opportunity to go for a 3-0 shutout. <clears throat> Got a decision to make here because if she, she, I mean, the seven ball would be the, you know, smarter shot, I think, depending on her ability to play position. She can draw it back or, or go down two rails, not. Well, she decided to go for a bank shot. And both these players have used their timeout in this second game of the third match. Okay, we'll see here. Do you go for the bank, or is she going to just tap it, hide the cue ball behind the seven? Touchy little shot. Oh, way too firm. <clears throat> way too firm. Mm. Another chance for Logan what to pocket the eight. What a treat for Logan, yeah. Same pocket. Again, when, you're t when you want to hit it, especially when there's a lot of distance like that, hit like you're going to hit a draw shot, real low on the cue ball. That way the cue ball runs kind of in reverse for a while before it lets go, and that's the best way to hit a soft shot like that. Short backstroke. Let the cue ball just die on the object ball. But it's Logan that walks away with this one. And we are once again tied 
up in this match. One game apiece here in this third match. 3-3 three, three overall. And we will see no more than a two points go to one of these two players here. Logan all smiles there. Both of these players are skill level four. So it's a 3-3 race. Solid break. Nothing's going to go, though. So Danielle is back at the table again, starting over. It's funny how when you've been close in eight ball to the very end, get to that eight ball, and then your next shot is after the opponent broke. It feels like there's 400 balls on the table because you keep <laughs> remembering how close you were when it was om the job was almost done. <clears throat> my wife must be tuning in at home with the kids because she said Chase, who's my son, wants to know which team to root for. I had to remind her that I am an impartial observer. Mm -hmm. And the score is tied, so. The beauty is she can put, pick, you know, push for one. Yeah. She can actually pick one herself, so. If I know Chase, he's picking the, the boy. <laughs> <clears throat> Chase is all boy. He's all boy, huh? That would be my guess. How old is Chase now? It will be seven in a couple of weeks. I feel like he was just born I know. a couple of weeks ago. It's overcut a little bit. Ladies are about to be done in the other room. We're going to be commentating on the ladies tomorrow. Yep. And their semifinal round, I guess, will get started about 9 o'clock. Tomorrow and morning. 1 o'clock. Again, that's Pacific time. It's 4 p.m. on the East Coast. Ooh. How did that not go in? <laughs> held up. Yeah. That'll be fun. So they're wrapping it up. Masters just got going, I believe, yesterday. No, there are some great matches, obviously, going on, both <clears throat> in the ladies and the masters. Nine ball got started today. Yeah. It is full swing here at the... Packed house APA everywhere. Championships. I see Eddie Rivera just came in. Eddie is our league operator in Singapore. Looks like he's got some of his team from Singapore behind him there. Uh, and it was amazing what... It, you know, getting the word out, what a great job he's done. Yesterday, last year I talked to him, or even actually in May, I believe it was. He was going, I don't know what, I can't explain it to them what league pool is. I don't know if I, and now he said they just got from nothing but 50 teams playing yeah. and loving it. And yeah. he's got one team out here, his first team. Mm -hmm. All the way from Singapore, too. He's yeah. Like a <clears throat> I don't know how many hours, 35 hours or something it took we him think, to get here? Yeah, we think it's a long way to go from the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that uh, trip from Singapore is a doozy. Yeah. But they are here and playing in the nine ball event. Looks like they've come to check out some of the finals here. <clears throat> I know a lot of folks are excited when we add a new country to the mix. Doesn't seem like that long ago that Japan came out. Mm -hmm. It's been now... I don't know, almost 15 years since they've been part of APA, so. Logan here at the table for bank shots. What? 
ball in hand for Danielle. Who will be on the hill first? Will it be Logan or Danielle? Well, Danielle's got plans here. She got lucky to get ball in hand there, considering where the 3 1 was. She have no problems. Oh, she miscued a little bit there. That's why the cue ball, even though she hit it low, kind of rolled along with it. You could hear the click here in the room. I don't know if you could hear it on the stream. So that's a shot on that. Oh, she made a two for. Two for one. And a shot at the five. She came out smelling like a rose there. Four balls near her pocket. She's got a good chance stream. of running out here. So that's a shot on that. Oh, she made a two for. Just to remember how huge that 15 ball is, where it is. So really p make a plan. Decide where you're going to be. She's going to roll this like she has with a lot of them. She, oh, she's played in the corner. Cue ball's going to go in. There's going to be trouble for her, I think, on the next shot. She drift enough? Mm, I don't think so. Logan back Let's to see. the table now. Logan with a definite advantage, considering he has his four balls left on the table. Danielle is left with one, and it's on the far side of the table. I'm going to see another timeout here for bank shots. Talk things over. All right, a few different options, needless to say. The main thing is to try to avoid the unforced error of either scratching or getting to the point of making a shot, leaving the missing it, leaving a open opportunity on the four. So this is a must make if you're shooting that 15 ball on the side. You can see everybody. <laughs> There's From the Singapore, Singapore crew, they're this going. The Singapore folks. I swear, look at this. It's like a it's like a pro tournament they're playing. It, 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 you know, they have been like mesmerized and in awe. Of, you know, because pictures don't do it justice when you come out here. All our players from home too. The first time they come out yeah, here, you walk like, into whoa, room after oh room my, after room, right. and they get bigger and bigger as you go deeper into the playing area. So, but. We at least have the like you know we've seen and heard about the APA, but seen pictures and everything mm -hmm. else. But for a lot of people over there, they just found it. Oh, oh well, no, he didn't. He sure did. Cue ball drops, ball in hand to Danielle. All right, we're going to see Danielle's cue ball control here, coming down for the eight and not leaving her too tough of a shot. And this is a another timeout. Yeah, well, <laughs> this is a common mistake. Her <clears throat> angle here is he's going to wait a minute. What you doing, babe? Because the whole point is to feed into this eight ball. And a lot of skill level two, three, sometimes four will put kind of line up almost straight in. If you're going to have that angle, then give yourself a little bit more of an angle. There you go. Unless she's left-handed, don't do not do that. So there, he's trying to give her the angle that making it is going to drift the cue ball down without having to use a bridge.
Oh boy. I'm not sure I wouldn't go ahead and ask to put the close cue ball close and the opposite angle. Maybe take a little tougher shot on the eight. I'm not sure I like this. She's right handed. Just move the cue ball. Yeah, I don't know. This is missable. Okay, all right. Is it going to feed down? Yes, it is. Nice shot. Nice. Just came up done. a hair short from perfect. <clears throat> all right, paid off. Good job, coach. Danielle lining up her shot on that eight ball. No problem. Pockets the eight in the corner. Takes a 2-1 lead in this race to three. She is now on the hill and is guaranteed at least one point for her team, the Party Animals. She takes this next game. She will earn a 2-0 split for the party animals. She will have the break here. You can see the party animals looking on. Great shot there. Pool Dog Arena. The home of all of our championships. Really appreciate all their support in helping us bring you guys these great matches. Dry break there for Danielle. Logan is back to the table here. Logan surveying the layout here. Deciding solids or stripes. Decision has been made. Looks like it's stripes. Thank you for letting me steal the few <coughs> French fries. Yeah, yeah. I know we I had started to, feeling like I needed. We had to. <laughs> we needed a little, little, little snack, snack in between. Ava and I are snacking in here, just so mm -hmm. you folks know. It's We're kind of at the halfway point. We need in a little the match. energy, a little pick me up. That's right. Table still open here. Beauty here is that she should be able to go into this five ball and open that up. But where is the cue ball going to land? Is the question eh, not great? Unless maybe she can make the one ball in the side, possibly. Anthony, these are the teams that made it through cities, regionals, and here at they're here at the nationals mm -hmm. or the worlds, as you might say. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, the the whole session, the playoffs. Yeah, it's a journey. Tri isn't cups, it? if they have tri cups, then the world qualifier. The road to Vegas. Mm -hmm. Every team out here, in one way or another, is already a champion. Well, again, with three hundred thousand plus players mm. playing in this league, I don't know what the number is nowadays. Probably more than that, but. And you got 730 of them made it out here to Las Vegas. That's a win, just that. And a darn fun time, I must add. <laughs> right, Jason? Some of them, I think, have had too much fun. I've seen a few of <laughs> yeah, them having too much fun. We had a young team that may have started out a little too much fun there in the beginning. That's an interesting dynamic, too, with teams because, you know, yeah. you know anywhere between five and eight players and 
some have maybe been to Vegas, some never before. And so managing, you know, the personalities yes. and, and what everybody wants to do, that's that's part of it, right? It, absolutely. Part of being su- successful out here. So sometimes it takes a team, you know, a, a second trip before they're ready to be on the big stage. Yeah. Again, both these players are rated as a skill level four, which means they are racing to three. Danielle leading two to one. Yeah, we got a couple of keyboard cowboys here. Oh, really? That, yeah, just to silly. We've had we've, we've gone a long time here without. Yes, these two players are skill level four. Yes, they are fours. Yes, they are going to miss. They are skill level fours. They are under enormous amount of pressure for their team. They made it to the finals. They may may never be back. They realize that this is do or die time. And they're on live stream knowing that some of you cowboys are out there that haven't made it out here yet. So I'm ready to drop the band hammer. It's my favorite. (laughs) Just have fun, people. Yeah, if well, you're not you're, enjoying it. You you know the, go. The funny thing play is video about game. that is if you know it's it's they're some of them are never satisfied. Either they're either they're yeah. too good for their skill level or they're yeah. not good enough. Or so they, yeah, exactly, it's it's one way or the other. So some people have nothing better to do than complain. I guess. Oh, nice. Oh, our man Matt Bryson's back. It looks like he went away from the Bubba Bryson nickname. (laughs) Down there in Louisiana. I tell you what, some of our viewers are pretty steady viewers because I recognize the names event after event. Yeah, there's a few names that we say, absolutely, it's fun. I know, if, you know, I was home right now, I'll be watching. And I, I talked to a lot of players, both from our Coastal Carolina APA area and players out here that before they came out here, it, you know, sometimes they watched it live, but life might happen you don't have time but they sit down and watch on youtube some of our older matches through the years just to kind of get an idea of why are these teams successful why are they made mm-hmm. it here and and to kind of get used to the idea of of the pressure of being out here so i yeah. think that's a good idea too Kind of a messy table here. We got the 511 is tied up. These players Seven, are four. <clears throat> playing for $30,000 in this match. So if you were nervous playing in your league playoffs or your tri cups or your world qualifier, imagine being here in Pool Dog Arena with a full audience and your team relying on you to try to bring home that $30,000 prize. Danielle's looking here. Can I squeeze that one ball by the six into the side, or do I need to play a combo? She's got the two also, but I think she's going to try to come down here and make do something, make something happen down at this end. But now look what happened here. That's yucky. Five balls not in a good spot, needless to say. So 
It's not one of those friendly tables yet. Man, Jim Cavender tuning in. Mr. Positivity, Jim Cavender. <laughs> Jim. I like Jim. Yeah, Jim's Always a good, good thing to say. Always a positive uh -oh. thing. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Not Got so that positive double, double there. Yeah, there, yeah. Logan, scratching this corner pocket means Danielle will have ball in hand. But she's got a lot of work to do. <laughs> smile was, i love the camera. i love the reality when they look <laughs> up and they go wait 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 a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> we're on candid camera it was the kiss cam they didn't do it <laughs> yeah, they're supposed well, to do the kiss you're right cam. you're right what happened She does not want to mess with that five ball, that's for sure. So trying to get that two out of there. I feel like if we go to the crowd enough, we'll find somebody that, that does the kiss cam. You think so? Don't give up back there, I guys. Don't, know. don't give up. <laughs> He's cracking him up over here. <laughs> All right, and another. Is he going to try to bank that in? He got that 14. Mm -hmm. Oh, got a little unfortunate there where the 10 ball ended up. Logan looks like he's gotten some more energy here. It's time to just start shooting the balls in, not overthink it. Everything's going to look harder and harder the more you think about it. All right. <clears throat> I don't know about you, Ava. I've had so many people come up this trip and say how much they appreciate the streaming and how much they enjoyed tuning in and just a lot of really nice comments. It's Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. But you know what though, if you so think about it, just that. a few years ago there were there were no we didn't stream. Yeah, 2016 is the first yeah, year. Yeah, and that's not long and before that. You just heard that so and so won from such and such. You saw the picture in the magazine. Yeah. Or on the website. Right. The little write up. But I do know a lot of folks appreciate it. I know they're not always the commenters and whatnot, but it's it's nice. A lot of them have come up and just said, You yeah. guys do great. We appreciate it. Well, you guys put a lot of time, a lot of money into the production and. So like I've said before, I haven't done ESPN for so many years. I don't feel like this is any less doing commentary. The support that they're giving us, um, the setup, it looks fantastic. The lighting's great. So kudos to you guys for, for doing all the stuff that you do behind the scenes here, getting this together. Party animals, there they are. <laughs> They're still partying. They were really partying earlier. Somebody yeah. said these guys are crazy. This is a fun team, that but they have been shut very they quiet were, so they were far. All about the partying. Yeah. Back and forth match. Okay, kick shot here. Try to. Hit or make this 13 ball. It looks pretty good. Oh, good hit though.
That's tough. Anytime you're shooting past the point there in a the side pocket. Yeah, just caught it. Yeah, that's uh, a tough, tough, tough shot. All right, time for Logan to make something happen here. If he makes the 13, he's got a good chance of opening up that entire cluster. 11 balls in the pocket, if we can see an overhead of that. You can see, only making this is going to go into the four. That's going to knock that out of there. Then down here, get the seven and ten split up. And he's got a good chance here to get on the board, just bear down and make that 13 ball. Oh, we've got to hit it with some speed to make something happen. There is no sudden death here in the championship final. And there's the other team. There are your bank shots, peeps. Bank shots out of Louisville. They're all smiles. Nervous smiles. Well, yeah. Don't blame them. I don't. I think it's more nerve wracking to watch than it is. Oh, nice shot. More nerve wracking to watch than to play, I believe. Yeah, because you have no control no. over it. Yeah. What do you guys nice. at home? Is it more? Uh -oh. oh no, Logan. No reward there. No. He scratches in the side. Ball in hand to Danielle. What about you guys that are watching? What do you prefer? What makes you more nervous, playing or watching? The uh, semifinals, no. You know, we did um, when we first started. I didn't. We, weren't we streaming the? Uh, no, maybe no. we never did. We did what we were doing was doing multiple matches for did, the. We had like a ring of matches. Singles, and we were yeah. going back and yeah. forth, and then we started doing them individually. But right, we don't do the semis because one, there's two of them going on at the same time. Um, but also, it's just you know these matches tend to go what five, sometimes six hours. And so the production the crew, too, doing yeah. potentially 10 hours, 11 hours straight of working yeah. um, after setting everything up and then doing what they have to do afterwards. And, and you know, that's... Um, it would make for a watered-down finale, I believe. Yeah. People would be worn out. I mean, I don't want to speak for you, but when this match is over, we're usually like... Oh. Yes, like definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and I know the folks manning the cameras and... Running the systems backstage, or it's the same way because you got to be so tuned in throughout. Right. Plus, it gives you added incentive to want to make it here to the championship final, right? It's one thing when you get to the semis and you're here in Pool Dog Arena, but it goes up a level when you get here to the to <laughs> yeah. the championship table and Definitely. the attention you get here. What I do love, though, that I've seen it's not just this event, but the last several years, is how many people are streaming their matches in the tournament. I think that's awesome. It's every, almost every table. Yeah, almost every table yeah. now has it. And so we just say, hey, use the hashtag APA Vegas so yep. other people can find your match. Uh, that's the one thing we got to work on with people is use that hashtag and make that match public so others public can see it. There's the hashtag really APA Vegas. There you go. There you go. There's the APA Vegas. No, but it's, it's, been, it's so great because everybody at home can kind of partake yeah. and watch their friends <clears> playing <throat> and stuff. So... I try to give results afterwards, but the the chances when they when they actually stream it is great. All right, game plan has been set. Well, it's going to be a touchy little position here. In a perfect world, may I say, six ball come around one, two, three, because that's going to feed towards that five. And I think she's just going to tap it. And this is not an easy shot right here. Sometimes you need to look for, if I use the rails, if I come around one of the key positions, something to work on is to see where you want to be. What's the line that you want to be on and try to feed, play position for the next shot to feed into that line and instead of crossing the line that you want to be on for your next shot. Now that is a really good speed right there. The shot was 
Very doable, but she hit it perfectly. She, nice speed. Smart shot. Shot was party animal approved. It looks like he's going one rail. Any time that you're going a one rail kick, where from this point down to the other side, to the uh, object ball, is that long, it's hard to, to cut a gauge. The one good thing is that he's in the line of the pocket, and that's usually a e much easier line to find. No. No. <clears throat> ball in hand to Danielle. Three balls away from victory here, this third match, which at this point would be a 2-0 split and a 5-3 lead for her team. Three big shots, though, looming still for her. Yes. One down, two to go. Left herself not so great. Logan's watching it on the on the overhead. We got four huge cameras at the at the top of over, above where the light is. Yeah, we 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 do have some low chairs this year, so I think it's hard for them to see the. So they can get a great view of it up there. So Yeah, the arena here has been reconfigured a little bit, you might have noticed, with the the truss that now supports that kind of the pit area. Mm -hmm. It used to be like a wood structure, but has made it a little bit taller. I would guess we'll make some adjustments after the event to that. Logan with the safety of his own there. Can she see it? I think she can go rail first. Possibly make it here. Or is she looking to play defense again? Oh, looks like she's going to use her chalk to try to give herself the line there. You see the payouts all the way through the field here in the 8-Ball World Championship. As I say, with this angle, it's tough to make. Nicely done. At least she got it out there. Back to Logan. Again, Logan with the team bank shots out of Louisville, Kentucky. They won a sudden death match earlier today. Against a team of... Just hanging out out of Pennsylvania. It was a great match, too. Oh, what an opportunity here. Danielle's safety plays and that kick that kind of paid off. Stop shot here on the seven and... Take a deep being, breath. Yeah, being on the hill, this would give her team two points. That would bring bring it to what five, five three. three, right? Well, so far, so good. She forgot to shoot the stop shot. <laughs> Cue ball rolled about two feet. She would have loved to kind of stop it right there. Pressure is on. 
it's obvious for everyone to see where that 13 ball is. So this is kind of do or die. I would think you make it, you win, you miss it. You do not win. You do not win. <laughs> Thank you for finishing that sentence. Well, I, was I know you to didn't want to. Like, you didn't want to say the L word. No, right? exactly. I'm trying to be positive. It's the here. opposite of winning <laughs> is not winning. Although that I would that would help. just even the match up. So she's got a little cushion here to work with. Oh, that was a big one. Never in doubt. Danielle Woodall. Big deal. In there. And Two she points. will win that 2 0, which means the party animals are now up 5 to 3 in this championship final. And for those of you trying to figure this out, is that the party animals they can play 14 points now. I mean, they have played 14 points so far, where bank shots have only played 12 points. So that could come into play as far as put up going forward. All right. So as we decide which players will be put up next, or as the teams decide, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back here in just a couple minutes. And this is really going to help your game tremendously and truly put you to the next skill level. Hey guys, I'm Fernando Kohler, also known as Venom. I'm a professional pool trick shot artist, but also a league operator for APA in Las Vegas. There we go. Thank you. Uh, this one is using actually 10 balls. So what exactly is a tangent? There's, in my opinion, three types of bridge. The closed bridge, the open bridge, and the rail bridge. We're gonna start with the closed bridge. Now if you practice this, it's really gonna help you to go from a two to a three. In this episode today, we're gonna cover how to go from a three to a four. Let's get into it. The more you're gonna do it, see as you can see I touch sometimes a little bit of it. And eight, right? So to technically have eight zone for 10 balls, so you have a little bit of room to spare. I really hope this was useful and I cannot wait to see you for another video. Later everybody. What was your favorite part about this year's Junior Championship? Because I worked so hard for it. Meeting new people. This is all that I've gotten to learn so far. I'm your host, Jason Bowman, and I'm joined by the one and only 
Florian Venom Kohler. Florian, today we have four championship matches to be decided in this year's junior championships. We're kicking it off with the green tier. Congratulations to Jocelyn. She is your juniors champion in the green tier out of Dallas, Texas. I want to thank everybody for watching me, and I want to thank my mom and my coach. Cue oh ball holds up. Sebastian Bernal, Lynn Haven, Florida, is your APA junior champion for 2023 in the red tier. I didn't feel any nerves, surprisingly. <laughs> I kept calm and shut as well as I wanted to. Four ball drops and Braden Rogers from Peoria, Illinois is your 2023 APA Junior. All right, we are back here at Pool Dog Arena in Las Vegas, continuing coverage of the APA World Eight Ball Championships. We are in our fourth match, which will feature Troy Fessel, Skill level seven for the team of bank shots out of Louisville, Kentucky. He has the break here. Powerful break there. Just leaves that cue ball right on the side pocket there, but doesn't pocket anything else. And now we'll see George Saunders, also a skill level seven, at the table for the party animals leading 5-3. So we've got a race of 5-5, five to five, and I have a new... Commentary partner, at least for the moment, I'm joined by Eddie Rivera, the new APA league operator in Singapore. What's up, buddy? Yes, thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. What's life like there for those of you in Singapore? <laughs> well, it's quite different than uh, my life in the states, but I'm, <laughs> but I'm happy to be in Singapore. I've been there about four years now, and and the pool scene is thriving. That's nice. for sure. Yeah, and and uh, and so is APA. You know, we're we're continuing to grow and and see more and more pool players. Uh, come across from all different uh, walks of life. So it's it's been great. Nice. And I know everybody's excited anytime we add a new country. You've got a team here participating in the nine ball championship, <laughs> I, right? I do. I'm super happy about it. Every time you just mention that, my, my, my cheeks uh, just perk up and smile because I'm so happy for these guys and, and gals. We've got a couple females on the team, and they're just going to, to really show what Singapore is all about. And there's some strong players on our team, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how well they do. Nice. Now, have they played a match yet? Not yet. Not yet. They're still waiting on their first match. So yes. what do you think of the arena, the Pool Dog Arena, <laughs> this great championship match? I mean, I know you've been to our events before, but it's been a while. Yep. yep. Things have changed. What do you think? Yeah, things have changed quite a bit. It's been many years since I've been here, but uh, this is an amazing experience. You know, I think when you see it on TV and you're watching the live stream, you're kind of like, oh, it'd be nice to be there. But when you're here live in person, you really get the energy and the atmosphere and I got it. I mean, I'm I'm impressed by these players shooting so well because I'd be nervous shooting right now. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> right with this environment. Yeah, you got so many people watching, and of course the teams depend on you and all the money at stake. It's it's uh it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. Well, Eddie, we've got two skill level sevens here. We mm -hmm. got George Saunders at the table. Mm -hmm. I would be surprised if uh, Troy gets a, a shot at the table because it looks like George is making quick work of this one. Yeah, we started with several fours. Well, we had a six in the first match from Party Animals. Mm -hmm. We've seen a couple of fours since, and now we've got the the big dogs, if you will. Well, that was the only question I had right there was, does that 14 go past the three? And it sure does. I got to ask what it's like for you going from a player to league <laughs> operator because it's a different mindset, right? It's all different. It is. It is. You know, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I miss the game. I don't play as much as I used to. So seeing other players, you know, part of me is like, oh, wow, I want to be at the table. I want to be playing. But. You know, now it's such a different excitement for me, too, because I get to see other players, you know, step up and get their full potential. And I get so many messages and uh, calls from people who are saying, I just won my first match or or I just had my first break and run ever, you know, and, <laughs> right. and that part's probably even more exciting. Right. Just to see that, you know, APA is that conduit or that ex that opportunity to have players 
get their first break and run. And uh, and now we're doing it in Singapore in a new country. It just it, it gets me excited. It really does, even more so than me to get my own break and run. Well, now a chance for George Saunders to put himself on the board first and mm-hmm. pocket this eight ball. That's an interesting pocket marker he's got there. <laughs> Oh. Uh oh, look at that cue ball. Did not expect that. Yeah. Did not expect that. Unforced error there. Mm-hmm. And a new life here for Troy. He didn't give much of an opportunity here. The cue ball is pretty close to the rail. There's not an obvious defense. Well, I think he found one. Let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, looks like he can see it. A little surprised by that shot. He, he kind of rushed it a little bit. and Yeah, I don't think he was expecting to be there. And there now George pockets mm-hmm. that eight and takes a one nothing lead in this race to five. The mistake does not come back to haunt him. Mm-hmm. He will also have the break. Let Ava hop in here and talk to Eddie a little bit. All right. Glad to have you here, Eddie. Oh, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Especially next to the striking Viking. There you go. That's exactly <laughs> what I was just hoping you'd say. <laughs> I don't know what you guys covered, but it is exciting to have you guys here. Well, let's cover that with this prize pool right here up top here. Look at all this money available for first and second place. $30, I know. $30,000. Uh, all the way down to 257 down to all every single person that a team gets to 350 That's 161 right there. That's pretty cool, I yeah. got to say. Yeah. I'm hoping my team from Singapore does a little bit better than 257th, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> One step at a time. They're here, right? <laughs> exactly. All right, Look solid that break ball. there. That cue ball follows it in, though. Yep. Yeah, like Open you, table. Like you said, I'm just happy my team from Singapore is here. And, you know, I'm I'm really nervous. I'm probably more nervous than they are. <laughs> yes, I know that. <laughs> I'm like, a, you know, we have the league in, in the Carolinas, and I'm mm-hmm. like a mother hen. I run around and just watching all my players i'm watching them on the stream if i have to even now that i do this I'm, mm-hmm. i have the stream going trying to watch how they're doing and exactly i talk a lot to the other league operators as i'm sure you have and we all kind of feel the same way mm-hmm. sure do you're a little too young but i, I tend to call them all my kids <laughs> so well yeah i am a little too young for that <laughs> Whoa, that's two back-to-back uh, misses we have from from Troy here. I gotta say, a little surprise. Oh wow! Yeah, that uh, ball in hand, well behind the line, of course, but uh, but still ended up missing an open table. A little surprise there. Well, I think it's a skill level seven too. You kind of get a little surprised when that happened. Mm-hmm. But I remind a lot of players too when they have a seven on their team. A lot of the teams mm-hmm. they think the seven. Is like an automatic win. This yeah. is our 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 you know mini god, and we know he's going to beat. They get nervous too, and now did he shoot the wrong series of balls? It looks like it. Yeah, he had a perfect. I looked down for a second to make a note, and he had a perfect shot at the fourteen, and. Wow. So an surprising miss yeah. and then that. I'm confused. Well, it looks like I'm, I'm assuming we both. Was it an have, open table? Maybe not. Maybe we both looked down 
and didn't see Troy pocket a ball, but I didn't see him pocket a ball. So I'm a bit confused as well at why it would be a foul because it should be an open table. Did, well, did he make four balls on the break? Three balls on the break. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Well, the ref has already decided it is ball in hand. And so... What's no, I do mistake? believe there was a, mi a miss in there. I don't think it was an open table. Okay. Yeah, well, this is our first chance to see what Troy can do. You know, he, he hasn't had... Uh, a, a good run yet, but with this table, the only the one ball is a problem. I'm going to say he's going to try and take it out now. He probably didn't. Um, so let's see how he fares with this table. It's interesting. I have, you know, I'm checking down with people who, who were also watching, mm -hmm. and it's about 50 50 right now. Some said he made a stripe, <laughs> some said no, it was open really because it was um, right after this. The, um, I apologize. I guess we should have stayed on top of that, huh? No, it's all right. It was me getting too excited talking about Singapore and my, <laughs> my teams. And <laughs> forgot to talk about the match. <laughs> well, nonetheless, I'm going to say one more time, Troy as a seven. You know, I, I, I kind of favored that he would have done a little better work on that table. But let's see if that comes back. Because well, if is... it was an open table, then I guess that it's kind of the – cosmic world saying okay let's get him back to the table and make it right i like so. that yeah <laughs> about exactly that? yeah exactly the pool gods are giving giving another shot that's right what good would a pool match be with that little controversy though <laughs> Yeah, the four, shape for the 14 is not going to be easy, but he's already trying to figure out where he's going to get shape on the 15 to to give himself the right angle for the 14 up table. Mm hmm. I got a little far on this 15, but he's got it, in, you know, obviously has it in his side, mm -hmm. more of angle than he wanted. But he should have no problem kind of going into the rail here and avoiding the 7. Exactly. Nice call, Eva. Good shot. Just up and down. Eight ball on the side. Now he can just tap it. So the cosmic world came in and helped. The pool god says, no, <laughs> it was his shot. He was not supposed to <laughs> be throwing that foul, I guess. And yeah. uh, it took care of itself. Mm hmm there it is, 2-0. I'm going to say it one more time. I'm just really enjoying the atmosphere here in this final table. This, this arena is really cool. It's pretty, isn't it? It is. Yeah, and what what blows me away is with the staff of of the APA staff, the production crew that puts mm -hmm. this together is every single time, whether it's you know an improved telestrator or it's a, a better soundproof booth or mm -hmm. it's um, better lighting or they invest every single time. They've invested so much in this to make it to give some respect to the players. They're coming mm -hmm. here and it's literally like in an ESPN event. You know yeah, what I mean? It is. Yeah. So it's um, I'm really impressed with how far this has come from the first time we did it in particular. Yeah, it definitely has come a long way. I mean, I've been playing APA a long time ago, and I don't remember it looking like this. <laughs> <You know? I know. laughs> this is nice. What is it? You've come a long way, baby? <laughs> yeah. Just like you have come a long way from Singapore. <laughs> I sure have, huh? <laughs> Somebody just asked you how many bars or pool rooms in Singapore. I mean, how many locations do you have that you're active right now? So there's quite a few pool halls in Singapore. Mm -hmm. I'll say, you know, there's no shortage of pool tables or pool halls. You know, it's great. Um, but one of our, our pool halls that we play at is uh, called ARC, Aspire Recreational Center. Mm -hmm. um, KK Chan is the owner of that place. And got 26 beautiful pool tables out there and um, that's one of the three locations I'm in right now and mm -hmm. then I also have a pub bar division 
Okay. That has five locations. And uh, next season, we'll be having eight locations out of there. So APA has continued to grow in Singapore. And, yeah, I'm just really thankful for all the, the, the great attention and feedback I've received so far from the Singapore players. Good. Yeah, and I think once they kind of get what it's about. Oh, oh no, yeah. really? Holy moly. Yeah, a lot of action on that cue ball. Yeah, you really drew that. Well, it's... Once people really kind of find out what it's about, it's, that it's it's just as much about the camaraderie of it, mm -hmm. kind of going out and having a, you know, a relaxed time, having a beer, meeting <laughs> some friends, whatever whatever juices you as far as, in, in, you know, what you find as entertainment and having a good time. Yeah. Um, and then there's a the competition, of course, and a chance to come out here or winning local events or whatever it is. But I think that that's... That's what people don't realize, the family aspect of it, until you start playing APA. You really said it in many different ways there. Thank you, Ava, because, you know, at first season when the APA started last uh, last July, you know, it was primarily a lot of players wanting to get to Las Vegas, wanting to win that prize. Mm -hmm. um, but as it's come along, now we're seeing people just wanting to be there because it's a great night at pool. It's, sure, They're having Absolutely. fun with their friends. And then the last thing you said was family, you know, which is perfect because I've got now... A father and son playing together. Mm -hmm. I've got father and daughter playing together, and then uh, you know th those nights when you know they're, they're playing together on the same team and they're both winning, and the son right. is coaching the father. It's it's exciting for me. That's you know? great. Yeah. Well, I we are all thrilled that you are or the work you're doing there and bringing APA to them, and then we want to say thank you for stepping <laughs> in. And um, I think Jason is back, so Absolutely. we want to th huge thank you. And best of luck in Singapore. Thank you very much, Ava. And uh, we'll see you in May, right? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Thanks, buddy. Say hi to everybody there. Thank you. That was Eddie Rivera, our APA League operator now in Singapore. Talented guy, that one. He'll be back for it, I'm yeah. sure. Eddie, you left your phone, buddy. Yeah. Come back. Oh, he didn't lock it. Should we have some fun with it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we've been kibitzing over here. Looks like Mr. Saunders is going to take a 3 nothing lead. Extend that. There you go, buddy. 3-0 <laughs> oh lead. What did I miss, Ava? What did I miss? Well, you missed all of the drama. Don't Some ask. Controversy? Me. Yes, there was controversy. We weren't. We were kind of. I had just gotten here. We were talking a little bit, and all of a sudden, I looked up, and there was a foul called, and it doesn't look like it was a foul, but cosmically, it worked itself out because if all's it wasn't well, a foul, well. yeah, yeah, long story. Okay, yes. all's well so, that ends well. There's always oh, got to be some kind of drama. No drama llamas. That's my daughter's camp uh, group, the llamas. They call them the no drama llamas. I like it. No drama allowed. Greg Saunders. Try not to allow any drama here with a 3 nothing lead. Two more racks and we're out of here, huh? That would be victory, wouldn't it? Yes, sir. 3-0 shutout would do it. That would be it. We got five points. I guess any 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 win here for them is it's over. Yeah, it's the fourth points. match, so even they have the tie, tie break, yeah. Yeah. A lot of work to do here. Open table. Yeah, I like Eddie. He was the, at one point, he was looking to take an APA into Korea and speaks multiple languages. Mm -hmm. Talented guy, super yeah. talented. Very sweet. Really very excited to have players from Singapore here, though. Friendly chap. I said, do they speak English? He said, oh, they speak about four languages each, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's like when wow. you're in Europe, too. Yeah. 
It's two, three, two, three, four or more languages. Well, I hope they have a great experience here for their first time. Well, if you don't have a great experience here, you got to try or unless something weird happens. But um, it'd be hard to not have a great experience here. I mean, even if you came and lost two matches and out. Yeah. You're yeah. still in Vegas. You still made it here. And it's, it's cool everywhere. And yeah. you can play Mini Mania and you meet other people that have the same passion that you do. So it's pool playing heaven. Yeah. There's quite a bit of APA in Canada, and I'm sure somebody oh, on yeah. here is from Canada. Somebody was asking a lot of players out of can Canada. Oh, yeah. Canada, Japan, Singapore. At one point, right before COVID, we were launching in India, but that got really sidetracked when the world went sideways. Mm -hmm. And uh, But at some point, I would expect... Oh, nice. Nice shot. <clears throat> I know we've had a lot of interest in the Caribbean, lots of different countries. Mm -hmm. my, our franchise development guy, Kevin's talking to, just takes a little while, right? Everybody's got different laws and regulations and things. They sure. Have to, to kind of navigate. Plus, let's see if he can get up for this three ball. Perfect. I think also that different regions of the world have, you know, are familiar with league play. Because I know in, in Sweden, it's not, this kind of a league doesn't exist. And there's not a lot of bars with a pool yeah. table. It's all pool rooms with nine-foot tables and not a lot of team where you play together. <clears throat> you might play singles as like a European team or whatever, and you play singles, but you don't. And it's far, f more and far between, so. George is running away with yeah, this, Yeah, he's, he's really playing smooth. I love the way he... Thinks Pockets when he broke eight. those balls. That was a messy rack. He just maneuvered around it. He is on the hill, folks, and he is one point or one game away from victory here. Yeah. And then we will see just how hard the party animals can go. And you can see we're going to get a shot of a very – excited trying to stay a little bit quiet over there because they want to yell and scream right now because well, they don't know they... jinx yourself either. no you gotta gotta win it first but one more rack george obviously has the break he looks in very about somber right yeah, now. yeah he yeah. just looks locked in you know in these moments Chance has team has a chance right here to win it all. It's the person sitting at home that last session said, "No, I'm taking I'm taking this session off." <laughs> <laughs> you know, that got off the team and said, "Nah, I don't. I think I'm just gonna give it a break for a while and then go and seriously. Now you're gonna win the whole thing." What we're going to see here, this is table looks much friendlier than the last one did, and George figured out a way to solve that one. So it's got solids, which is not all bad. Wait, we missed what kind of party <laughs> animal was he? I missed it. I don't it. know. If a, I like Raymond. Raymond said, George once slammed a revolving door. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond, I got to get you out to USAM this year, buddy. Do some commentary. Raymond's great on the mic, too. Good player, great on the mic. Busy, though. He's a busy worker. That's good. George is busy here at the table. Picking away. I think George wanted to get a little more straight on, the, on this combination, the 7-5 combo. That's the way to go. The six is a great pre-ball for the eight. And work this section first. Get that combo out of the way. He's got the one, I believe. That would be the ultimate if you can shoot the one ball now instead of the seven. 
No. I didn't even look at it. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. One seven would have been perfect. Six ball just has enough room to slide by, I believe. Huge chance, though, to keep this match alive. I gonna believe that's going to keep it alive if... Going to take a timeout. If he only gets... If he were to win, but only wins two points here, if if Troy can get... a, Doesn't that bring it into the fifth match? It would be... Four, no, no. That's right. They, they get, have to get a point. Yeah, he's got to get to yeah. the hill. That's right. He's got to get to the hill, so... But at least he would still be alive. Yeah, never say never. I mean, again, Troy's a seven. He just hasn't had a whole lot of opportunity. Mm-hmm. A little discussion here. George and his buddy and teammate Greg, both skill level sevens, so just a little discussion between the two of them, what the better move is here. How we get into this trap he got himself into. Oh, nice try there. All right. New life now for Troy. You bet. Long way to go, gotta but you got to start magic somewhere. <clears throat> got to make some magic happen. Got to start somewhere. Oh, my Nikki just said hi. Hey, Nikki. He's tuning in from the farm in South Carolina. Oh, he got too straight. That little Carly's trying to run like three racks at once here. Hmm. Got to slow down a little bit. Okay, cheated that a little bit, pounced it into the rail, so he got created an angle. How quickly things can turn, huh? Bank shots took a quick 3 nothing lead, and it was looking they knew they only needed well, it was three nothing party animals. Then oh, that no, oh, that's right. I keep getting that wrong, shots, don't I? We were was, tied up. You're right. You're right. It was. And party then we animals. were one one in the third match there for a moment, and then things have kind of gone that's the right. way of the party animals that's since right. then. <clears throat> Troy looking to change that though. Skill level seven. Again, he's got to get to the hill at least mm -hmm. for this match to continue. Like I said, got to start somewhere. Yeah. Oh, he jumped up. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well. Oh, wow. That could be it. Be it. Yeah. Well, I tried to get going too fast. I know that feeling when you're way behind. You're trying to, like, hurry up and make as many as you can. Sure. But Watch that out. is going to be it. And there is <sighs> some, they're sitting, they don't know what to do over there <laughs> on the sideline. holding hands. The party animals are about to party. We're going to see just how much they party. Nobody's doing here. He's getting the pocket marker. Oh my God! And, He's got the goat. <laughs> and not only that, but he just ran those with his, with his break cue. <laughs> I mean, he just he just took break cue and he's oh. going, Oops. "What am I doing? What, <laughs> wait a minute! What?" <laughs> I think he go. got hit with the whole uh, "I'm just about to win here" thing. George Saunders for the victory. There are 2023 champions right there. The crazy party animals. 
The party is on for the party animals here in Pool Dog Arena. Vegas will never be the same, Jason. <laughs> they celebrate the victory. Take the trophy, the trophy, the trophy. All right. Trying to get these guys to hand them their trophy. That was a great match. Fantastic match. Let's see if we can get, uh, they're going to shake hands real quick and let's see if we can't get a few words in with some members of the party animals here. And Great show of sportsmanship. You got to give it to Bank Shots, too. What a tournament they had. 730 teams, and here they made it to the semifinals, $15,000. But it's these crazy people here that are walked away with the whole shebang. All right, Iana's going to disarray talk to our newest <laughs> champions here. See what they have to say about their big victory. The response of last time. Right now. Oh, we're ecstatic. Sounds like you got a lot of people cheering for you over there. Oh, my God. We had so much support. Back at home, we had so much support. Thank you, everybody. It's been a blessing. So who's the MVP on your team tonight? Anna! She got us here. Literally. Two sudden death matches she carried us through. It's been amazing. Did you have anything to say to anybody? Anybody on screen? Uh, like I said, just thank you everybody back at home. Uh, we're, we're happy to celebrate when we get back. Uh, anybody else have anything to say? Uh, I just want to tell my daughter I love her and I miss her. Oh. I just want to tell my wife I love her. <laughs> And thank you, James and Michelle, for the league. Thanks for supporting us along this way. And Q for you. That's where we play. So. And I'm going to go ahead and send this back to Ava and Jason. All right. Thank you. All wow. right. What a victory. What a celebration it's going to be tonight, folks, for the party animals. Again, congratulations to our new world Eight ball champions out of Florida, the party animals, taking home $30,000. Folks, we appreciate you tuning in today to our coverage of this year's APA World Pool Championships. Thanks again to our friends at PoolDog.com for their support. And, of course, we will be back tomorrow with the finals of our Ladies Eight Ball Championship beginning at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And we hope to see you all then. On behalf of all of us at the APA, thanks for tuning in this afternoon.